Good evening, fans, and welcome back to the West Fargo Sports Arena by, with another production by Cheyenne Mustang Media, where tonight the Fargo Davies Eagles have come to the West Fargo Sports Arena, and they are going to take on the West Fargo Cheyenne Mustangs. My name is Jordan Natuski. Joined alongside me tonight is Sean Burke. And, Sean, if we needed any further indication on how big this game is, we got five little mini Mustangs out there that can't be older than first or second grade, and they were skating sideboards, oh. waiting for the varsity boys to come out. I think that sets the tone early because this is a fairly large game in the EDC tonight. And one biffed it, but in true hockey style, got right up and then and, and continued. Absolutely. You know, Sean, tonight these are two teams that are desperately looking for a win. They are both on a skid. Cheyenne, the last game that we did had that, oh, had boy. that you know, late goal against uh, West Fargo. The, I believe it's the latest goal you could The late seven-tenths of a second left. Uh, and West Fargo was able to escape with a victory that night. And then uh, just the other night, uh, up in Grand Forks, they lost 5-2 to Red River. You look at the Davies side of things, Davies coming in on a, on a longer skid of a six-game losing yeah. skid. Or yes. I should say winless well, because they do have the yeah. one tie in there. So, yeah, we got two teams at, that we're going to say maybe almost as cold as the weather right now. So You, you look at the standings, we have pulled up right this there. Is, this is tight. Davies is in sixth with ten. Cheyenne's right behind him in seventh with nine. And then Devil's Lake is right behind them with seven. And Devil's Lake right now going into the third period up in Grafton, who we see uh, is in ninth with uh, no conference wins. Devil's Lake is up on that one three to two. So, you know, if Devil's Lake gets a win tonight, you know, they're going to be moving further up in the standings. Yeah. If you're Cheyenne, you're going to want to you know, stay you know, one point ahead of them. Yeah, aside from the, the two Grand Forks teams, it is gridlocked. Yeah, it is. After and, that. You know, we, the other day we saw West Fargo come in here and they beat the, you know, the Mustangs and then they go on the road and after uh, about two periods, it's 4 nothing. Fargo North. Yeah. You know, and so they, they come out and North is able to uh, get a 6-3 win. So the parity, it's crazy. Yeah, it is. You got North with 16, West Fargo 14, and then South Shanley with 13, and South Shanley uh, defeated these Fargo Davies Eagles yeah. just in a shootout the other night at Shields Arena. So when I see two teams, I'm seeing desperation almost. And and we, we've talked about it. This season is so short that these teams are going to come out here. I'm I'm almost guaranteeing that this is going to be a superlatively entertaining game of two teams that say hey we have got to turn this around and today's the day yeah and if we pull up our keys to the game and the, our first key to the game one of the things that we look at now they're now they're in the second half of their season you, know, you, you kind of look at you can split your season into thirds you have your season up till christmas and then you have from Christmas until your regular season and then your postseason. They're now in that really kind of that second season where they're now going to be playing every conference team again. They just played Red River the other day. Unfortunately, Red River swept the Mustangs by identical 5-2 to two scores. Yep. Now uh, they're going to get their second crack at Davies, and Davies defeated them 4-1 to one, right. uh, earlier in the year. Absolutely. And then I see the special teams. So if memory serves me correct, it was 1-1 one, one going into the third. Cheyenne gives up a short-handed goal to put Davies up front two to one. You talk about shorthanded goals, that was the theme the other day with 18 uh. seconds left, they get a, a face off on the power play in the offensive zone and you get a block mm -hmm. shot and it comes the other way and uh, Aiden Stern was able to deposit in the back of the net with a, with a shorthanded goal. Speaking of special teams saying on that, on that same vein right there. You know, Sean, the power play for Cheyenne this year uh, has been fairly well. They're seven for 20 on the power play. They're at about 34%. But the bugaboo is going to be the penalty kill. Uh, yes. And right now they are 9 well, for 34. Look at that so stat. They're at about 70, 74%. And, you know, you want to be in that upper 80s, lower 90s region if, if you can. And the teams are going to have good power plays, and you're going to give up a power play goal right. here or there. But just the other day up at Eagles Arena in Grand Forks, Red River is able to score three goals on four power plays. And so, you know, obviously staying out of the box is, is going to be one key. And then, you know, stronger specialty teams right. is something that, you know, down the stretch here is going to play dividends. And when you're fighting for, you know, fighting for points in the standings and as the season starts to wind down, you're really going to want to have to dial in those specialty teams. Right. I'm guessing maybe that was a focus of yesterday's practice. So uh, I'm curious to see uh, what we see from the Mustangs if, in fact, they do have to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it is <laughs> as, as you wind down here. You know, your line should be set and, and you should – uh, you don't need a whole lot of extra work. You should have your conditioning uh, up to par and up to speed. You, know, you, you don't need to work on puck handling drills in February, but your specialty teams are what's going to decide those games late in the year. And then 
our last key to the game here is just competitive emotion. You know, stay focused, bring the energy. We talked about both of these teams coming in uh, on a losing skid. You don't want to press more than you have to to try to get that win. Um, you, know, you, you don't have to play outside your control, just do the things, but, but bring energy and bring really good competitive energy, and then with that, you know, be smart. Right. I expect nothing less from both teams tonight. Uh, you know, we talked about that Alexander game, how physical that was, and I think maybe the West Fargo game maybe wasn't as physical as maybe you or I thought that it, it potentially yeah. could have been. It was a fairly clean game. Um, I think the penalties in it were mostly stick penalties. I don't think that there was anything no, egregious. No, nothing really in. dirty, no. Yeah, so I, you want to be smart. Um, <coughs> couple of notes in this game. Yeah, you got to bring something yes, up here. Uh, We'd be remiss. Yes, Jaden Beater is who has kind of been the primary goalie for Cheyenne and that this year, and he's had a good year. He's uh, at an 89 save percentage, uh, 2.87 goals against average. Was feeling a little under the weather today. Tried to have a go at school, tried to make it through the day. Unfortunately, told Coach Benson that uh, the sickness was just too much, and so uh, he will be out of the lineup tonight. It's going to be uh, Brock Burn back in the Nets. All right, little something to prove. It's been a while, right? Yes, it Probably has. About well, seven. Well, Brock played in that international fall oh, game he? Okay. outside, but before that, the last action that he saw, I believe, uh, was was that uh, South game? No, it wasn't the South game. Actually, yes, it was the South game. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah, would have been. Yeah. So, uh, and that was kind of the the, the time when when uh, Beater came in and and really from there has, yeah. has taken the reins for West Fargo Cheyenne. Um, with that, we'll take a, a short break here after our national anthem, and we'll rejoin you for the puck drop in the first period. Sean, as we wrapped up our pregame show there, unfortunately we did say that Jaden Beater was feeling a little under the weather. And if you are feeling under the weather, where can you go? Uh, I'm going to uh, probably Essentia. Absolutely. We want to take the time to remind you that Essentia Health is proud to sponsor the Cheyenne High School Mustangs media team and this broadcast. Essentia is like nowhere else. All right, I'm going to try and squeeze this in. The other day, it's someone said, yeah, yeah we're playing Davies. And for the life of me, I could not remember the name of the, the, the school name. It is, it's like... You mean mascot? I, yeah, I could not remember the name. It's like, oh, there it is. It's an eagle. And it's like, you know, what's the significance of that? And I, I thought, well, let's go with the West Fargo Packers because there used to be a huge meat packing plant in that area, and hence the name. But I'll get into that later. Oh, two on, two on one. Good chance for Ian Iverson. A lot of space on that right-hand side for him there. This is open up early. Oh, fuck up. All right, so I'll get back to that. And it's like, and then I'm thinking, Cheyenne Mustangs. It's like, I wonder why Mustangs. So today, for you, the 10 best and worst team names in American sports. We'll go through the best, go to the worst, and I'll let you when, when there's time. We will do that. So, but first, let's welcome everyone on a cold, cold yeah, night three, three degrees in on the West. Over. Uh, yeah, so the record is 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 over. Well, wow, we've set the record for amount of days where we did not get to to minus. It, we hit it. I don't know what time today. So, uh, come to the rink where you are going to be entertained with some hot, hot hockey, my friends. Yeah, one other thing to look at, too, that we didn't allude to in our pregame show is 
the shuffling of lines for the Cheyenne Mustangs. We've yes, really seen I didn't realize he was a blackjack dealer at one time, Mr. Benson, because <laughs> yeah, this so is... Lashovsky, Meyer, and Klaus, that unit's been broken up. That was Iverson that's playing up there, and he had a fantastic opportunity on the first shift. Yeah, we got Cooper Klaus, Bennett Benson, Gunnar Endres on the second line. Let's see if we can get some chemistry here. All right. Puck behind the Cheyenne goal, looking to advance it. Trying to get it out of the net. At, out of their own zone. All right. Reverse pass. Oh. Up in the hash marks. We're going to try this for about the third time here. Trying to get on the same page, but no to no avail. So chemistry right now. A little suspect early on. Here we go. Mustangs are going to take it up on this left-hand side. That's, that's Cooper Klaus. Oh, one-timer. High slot. Good. Good wood on that. That was Colton Rogan on that play. All right. Davies looking to advance it. Stopped. Center ice. Shoveled in by Rogan. Almaris back for Davies. Trying to get something going here. Nice pass up to Mustang blue line, but read nicely by, by the D. Home run pass by Jackson Glinky. That's going to go all the way down for icing. It fans, unfortunately, it does appear that our clock on our scoreboard is not functioning uh, the way that it should be. There is not 1658 left. There the is 1447. Period. So we will do our best to try to update you as we need to throughout uh, the game. There, we, there go. we go. Oh, just, technical wizards. You, you ask and you <laughs> receive, Mr. Bird. <laughs> there you go. Uh, all right, we got the third line out here. We got the Johnson line, which also we got Andringa and uh, Hassler with him. All right. Davies looking a little bit, a little toe drag there. Read nicely by the Mustangs. Davies trying to advance this. Oh, Ooh, big hit. Yeah. Oh, and he's going to be called for it. So that's going to go against uh, Cheyenne. Gunnar Majerus got rocked, but illegally rocked. All right, Davey's going to go on the power play. They pulled the goalie. Six man is on. That is Luke Lawrence. Going to take this one all the way back. See if they can get something generated. They're going to bring it up with speed on this right-hand side. He's got some. Going to take it wide. Oh, good hit. That was Wingem, the number one line, obviously, out there for Davies. Still... Back in their own zone. Davies looking to take this up. They know if the Mustang touch it. Whistle will go. And there's a shot right in the belly. Sean, that was, one, that was one of the longer yeah. <laughs> delays that I've seen until Cheyenne was able. They didn't really secure the puck. It was uh, Jaden Beater that made the save. That's going to be Dylan Johnson. That's going to go. I believe that for sure the refs are going to have a discussion here with uh, the veracity of the hit and then how close it was. Uh, to the boards and the position. Uh, you you named the player that got hit. Was it Seekerson maybe? I know you said the name. I didn't quite catch it. They're just going to go yeah. for a two, though. I couldn't. Uh, was it Almaris? I'm trying to remember now. I thought, oh, Majerus, I thought you said. Caden Almaris, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Do we see anyone uh, in a world of hurt on the bench there? It's hard to tell. That does not appear so. Coach All Benson right. right now is getting an explanation from uh, both of the officials on the call. Well, I hope no one was injured, but it's so here on the kill, you're going to have Klaus is going to be taking a draw. It looks like they need another guy out there. Yep, Christensen's going to hop over the board, so Glinky and Christensen going to be playing on the backside, and then Klaus and Benson up front. Uh, we've got Seekerson taking a draw for the, for the Eagles. Back to the point. Roughed up and kind of carried out of the on the zone there. Oh, big hit from behind there. Couldn't tell who that was. Is that Speedway? All right, 13 14 remaining. Our clock is accurate. Eagles. Oh, we got three guys coming in there, but nice job of collapsing by the Mustang defense. Shot back from the point. Oh, bobbled at the hash marks. Going D to D, looking for something. 
in the middle of the ice here. Read nicely by the Mustangs. That was Jackson Glinky able to get that out. They try this on the left hand side there. Real nice job by Mason Christensen there. He fronts uh, that Davies forward. I believe that was Luke Lorenz. Yeah. Just right at the blue line. It doesn't give him any space and any room. And Davies is not going to be able to entry or enter into the zone cleanly, and Christensen sends it all the way down. All right, 54 seconds remaining on the man advantage for the Eagles. Pulls up. Puck stripped. Oh, nice patience there. That was Mason Christensen. Oh, Iverson. 2 on 1. Oh, couldn't get it over. If Iverson and I are on the same wavelength right there, the way that he yeah. almost looked like he was just trying to go right off the pads to his line right there. I don't yeah. Think he realized that he didn't have the greatest of angles. And yeah, that's a nice not, play when they play off idea. the far side yeah, of the absolutely off the pads and it goes right to their forward. Yeah, if that was uh, what was going on, that was uh, just inches off. Didn't quite get the rebound we're intending. All right, eight seconds remaining on this Eagles man advantage. Nice, aggressive penalty kill by the Mustangs on this one. That was a good kill. We said that that's not uh, one of their strengths so far this season, just at about 73, 74%, but they made it difficult uh, to get through the neutral zone for Davies. And I didn't watch any of that game. Uh, was it a case of the Red River power play just being so good or weird? Well, one of them. One of them was a shot from the goal line on okay. a rush from end to end. So, I mean, it's not as if they were really you know, setting it up in the zone. They did have, uh, well, two were in the first. I, okay. did, I was unable to see the first period. I saw the last one, but did not see the first period. All right, Madden Weber going for the home run pass there. While we're Speaking of Weber, he did score that. one of the uh, shining goals in that game on the power play. All right. Incidentally. Nice. All right, 10.51 remaining in this scoreless first period. Shots, Eagles with a 3-2 advantage. All right, shot from, that's Seekerson on that one. Yeah, that's gonna be Berms' third save of the game. Settling into the game, fourth save, excuse me. Settling into the game nicely here. It's been a little bit of time since he had some EDC game action. He did play in that outdoor game. Against that's what you're saying. International Falls, got his first varsity win in that game. So congrats to Brock, senior goaltender. All right, Davies looks like they're countering with their third line here. We got Kearns. At center, work on the left side. Salberg, yeah. Salberg, on and the Salberg. Side. Oh, right, sorry. And the reason I know that is because if works out there, you notice him. Yeah, <laughs> he's a he's a good, <laughs> strong forward for the Eagles. Yeah. All right, Sean. With that icing, just take it a, a little second. Awfully fun day for Cheyenne students and staff today. They tell me about loaded it. up the entire school. We put them all on buses. Brought him up to the Fargo Dome to participate in the Feed My Starving Children event at Feed My Starving Children. Just today, yep. we were able to fill 2,014 boxes, 435,024 meals. Oh, look and at that, those! Look at that, that handsome crew. To feed 1,191 kids <laughs> for a year. So there you see assistant principals Lackwitzer, Bodell, and Oisted, math teachers Kalman, Knack, Benjamin Rott, Fieldgis, and then from our Special Ed Department, Mr. Dondano. So Wearing the shorts. There. <laughs> yeah, that so guy we'll, is a beast. We'll go back. Yeah, it was a really fun day. <laughs> we loaded up the whole school um, logistically, kind of wondering how it would work. Yep. Uh, we got there. It was not just our school. There was also. Are we talking uh, like 830 in the morning till? We were there. We got on the bus at 850. Yep. They had three different shifts of buses running okay. up there. I think we got there maybe around 930. Yep. Got in. We got a party party hat, which is a hairnet, oh, <laughs> yeah. is what they were called. But yeah, it was, it was really fun. Uh, really fun to see all the students, and it's quick. It's fast paced. There's Any breaks? No, no breaks. I was so how long was your shift? Uh, the whole time we were there. How uh, long were we there till? I don't know, nine thirty till eleven. 11 oh, 30 I thought something. you were going all day. Okay. Oh, I, we, oh. We, we, us old people. Yeah. That's here we are. Another one. So you had to be eighteen to run the stamper, or the, the oh, okay. sealer. Excuse me. And uh, people wanted that. Was that a? Well, you had to be eighteen to do yeah. it. And so if you were at your table with say freshman or sophomores you're the only 18 year old so <laughs> that was it's like hey, a lot of time but hey, you know, I want was, that one it was a great experience for the kids it well was well really done fun. yeah so I'm uh, happy that our administration uh, set that up for us and really good way to kind of end the, the first semester nice all right all right 10 minutes remaining in this scoreless first period Eagles with a 6-2 advantage and shot at this juncture in the game all right Madden Webber with a nice no-look drop pass there. 
Got a little fancy there. Lashovsky trying to go between the legs to his, his line mate. Read nicely by the Eagles on that one. Right. And we are going for the home run pass here. I'm inspired by the college football and NFL playoffs coming up. All right. Puck handled behind the net by Burham. Mustangs looking to get this out. They do. That was Majerus. When I trying to touch past the teammate, read by the Eagles though. Weber looking for someone in his own zone. Oh, good job intercept. Oh, we got a guy wide open here in the front. Oh, good save. Just missed the post. Wide open was Garrett Wingham. Grade A scoring chance for the for the Eagles. Nice job of picking the pocket of the Mustangs there. Now Puck's going to squirt all the way down, but I believe it was a Mustang touch. We've got a foot race here. Really caught. That was Spiewak. Good wheels on him. Almost caught the Mustang defender on that one. 8-16 remaining in the scoreless first period. Oh, good read at the point. Shot. Good ways out. Blockered away. Got a little scrum below the goal line there. See who emerges with it. It's the Eagles currently. Good hit behind the net. All right. We're going to lift that as high as we can, get it out, and they did. Relieve the pressure there. All right. Mustang's looking to go something. Going cross ice here. Oh, red nicely. Got a potential two on one here. Shot. Oh, toe drag. Good save. Gets it back again. That's Luke Lorenz. All right. Mustang's a little room in the center of the ice here. Shot, good distance. He's gonna get off the ice. That was Max Johnson on that shot. The Giants have a really difficult time. They're, it's almost like they're trying to stretch the ice in the neutral zone, and they're trying to go, you know, s you know make it as long as they ah. can and as wide as they can. But Davis is doing a really nice job of of picking those passes up. It's real. I mean, Cheyenne's only got two shots into this game. I think one of them early on by Iverson. Uh, I wonder if yeah. the game. I wonder if it's the case of. Uh, our players not quite knowing where their new line mates may, may be or their tendencies, so. It could be, but they haven't really been clean coming out of their zone yeah. either. There's been, you know, shifts where, you know, right up along the uh, right side of the wall there, it seemed like the puck almost was like a magnet yeah. right along the board. So yeah, I just saw that on the replay. Got a little cleaner breakouts here and come out uh, through the neutral zone with a little bit more speed, I think. Put more pressure on those Davies defensemen right now. They're just kind of Yeah, rather than home. going for the home run pass, I agree. Oh, oh shot up the post. That is close. Davies, yeah, with a big 10 to shoot, 10 to 2 shot differential right now. So putting on the pressure here. All right, Mustangs. Good read. By the Eagles forward on that one. Oh, they're, they're trying to stretch the ice as well. That was. Red by the Mustangs. Well, here come the Eagles again on this right-hand side. Mustangs have numbers going back. Nice. All right, let's see what we can do here. That was Estepo looking very veteran-like on that. Yeah, it uh, was. That was one of their more clean uh, uh, yeah. entries out of the zone. All right, Mustangs looking to go on the right hands. Oh, back door was open. Just missed on that pass. All right, six and change remaining in this scoreless first period. Mustangs looking to keep this in. No one at home in the slot on that one play, though. All right, we're going number one. Best team names in American sports. Yankees. The Yankees. Oh, right, I, I should have gone 10, sorry. Number one. No. Oh. I, they're not even on my top ten. Oh, it's a bad list then. <laughs> it might be because I did see on one list where they were number. <laughs> we're going to go with number ten, the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, America's team. America's team, my friend. How are, how are the Cowboys on there and the Yankees are? They're two of the same. I know. It fits geographically, and it sounds cool. All right. This is courtesy of uh, Boston University, the WTBU, my friend. I'm not going to lie to us. No wonder Yankees isn't on there. <laughs> 
That's right. Uh, yeah, I wonder if that plays a little bias. All right, 5.31 and raining in this first period. Scoreless first period for those of you who are just tuning in. Hey, don't have to go anywhere. Just tune in to us, get some popcorn, get a beverage of choice, and enjoy from the comfort of your own home, my friends. Those of you in Florida, super jealous. But we appreciate if you are tuning in from elsewhere. So 5.06, oh, that was a solid hit, my friend. Garrett Wingem, one of the more dangerous four. Oh, and oh. Trace Meyer lays a hit right there. Yeah, on Luke and now was Lorenz not happy with that. Him. And now you clearly have Bennett like Benson's fighting with Wingem, and you have Madden Weber stepping in. In about uh, 12 seconds there, you had Mason Christensen that leveled Garrett Wingem coming right into the zone. And then as Luke Lorenz was standing right at the blue line as the whistle was about to blow, Trace Meyer got him from the back, and now they're calling Meyer over to the penalty box. He's trying to hide in the bench there, but the refs doing their due diligence, noticed the number 18, and they're calling him. And then you also had some punches thrown there as well. I don't know if punches is the right word, but you had quite a bit of scrap there near the blue line. So, so we'll try to sort all this out. For sure we know that Meyer is going to go. Yeah. The, the hit by Christensen Looks. was it was a clean hit on, on right. Wingem. It was just Wingem was coming into the zone, coming in the middle of the ice. Christensen laid a nice hit. Yeah, ben, Benson is going to go. Uh, as well. The only thing I can think of that they took exception to was a, a fraction late, but it, it didn't it did not look like you're, it. You were referencing the Meyer hit on Lorenz, mm -hmm. and yes, I would agree with you there. I mean, yeah. it, you know, if you're looking for an argument, I, I could understand their their argument there. A game up in Grafton, as we look at it right now, Devils Lake goes up four to two in the third period, so Devils Lake is going to win that. So they're going to go from what seven points to ten points. Yeah. You said these two teams are sitting at nine and eight. Uh, with Davies at nine and Cheyenne with eight. So when the, when the horn sounds in Grafton, they're going to jump both of these teams. And then when the horn sounds here, one of them is yeah. either going to hope to tie or jump them. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what we were saying. It is tight in the middle of uh, the standings. Yeah. Uh, every game. See there again, our graphic. Yeah, you are. Oh, You're I'm not, not on there. No, I'm not on there. I was working. I didn't have time to yeah. stop and have my picture taken. We got a Davies defector in there. Who's that? He's not a Davies wearing defector. A Benjamin. He taught oh, at Benjamin. Liberty. Came oh, over. Yeah. All right. Just see him wearing those colors. Someone should have told him that we're playing Davies tonight. All right, number nine. Oh, keeping it local, sort of, almost. Minnesota Twins? It's right. City. Wrong team. Vikings? No, sir. The Timberwolves. The T-Wolves at number nine, a tie. This is Wish they'd start playing a little bit better. Uh, they said they started uh, hot, but. Their uh, synopsis is uh, this one is just cool. Who doesn't love wolves? The so tie is uh, we're going to go baseball. I don't know. Yeah, so just like the Packers, it's kind of tied in with the city. It is the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers. More love for geographical and culture references. This perfectly encapsulates the vibe of the country's beer capital. So Davies is going to get its second power play out of all of this here. It's going to be Trace Meyer that's going to go, uh, probably for checking from behind. Uh, you can call those now in the open ice. Yeah. Uh, Benson is going to go for a coincidental. All right, Cooper Klaus hounding to Davies' defense on this. So we got 4.44 remaining. Mustang shorthanded. Being outshot by quite a large margin right now. Shots on goal, 3 to 11. All right, Davies looking to get something started in the neutral zone. Bobbled at center. Recovered, though. Three coming right across the line there. Shot just wide. Brock Burham on that play. All right. Cross check is what the call on All right. Seckerson going cross ice. Kept in nicely at the point. That's Spiewak. The high slot. Back to the point. Spiewak. Shot blocked. Cooper Klaus. Nice dive. To upset that one and cleared by Madden Weber with exactly one minute remaining on the Eagles power play. Fresh troops coming on the 
PK for Mustangs. Cy Hassler on his horse. Oh, can't, oh, he just got it out. That was Andre Work, unable to keep it in for the Mustangs. I'm gonna only assume that they're gonna try and use Work to create some traffic in front of, in front of Burham. That's Work trying to bully his way through on that. All right, race for the puck here. That's one case in currents, going back to the D. One timer from the left hand side, blocked by the Mustangs. Work back to the point, cycling it around nicely, but not much in the, in the middle. And they say by deflection by Berm. Uh, I was current, still standing in front there. Mustangs gonna clear that one out. I'm sure they're tired after that. Yeah, Christensen cleared that one out. I thought he's had a strong period so far. He had a nice hit we set on Windham. Made two nice plays earlier in the period, and then on that penalty kill right there, that uh, does a really nice job. So Cheyenne, so far in this first period, they are going to kill off the two opportunities on the power play uh, by the Davies Eagles. So uh, our last game, wide margin of shots in favor of us today, just the opposite. So, you know, it's not the, it's not all there is. Uh, you know, sometimes it's uh, quality versus quantity, so. Yeah, and that uh, shot output was on <laughs> West Fargo, who lost to this day. We've seen ninth at three. Kind of a surprise. That is a shocker. Kind of a surprising score, yeah. But, you know, when you're feeling it, sometimes. Yeah, I think snowball, and it's right. scoring, hitting, whatever. Mm -hmm. It gets, it's contagious. Absolutely. All right, two, 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 remaining in a scoreless first period. Someone jumped the gun there. We're going to redo this. Trace Meyer coming in there for the Mustangs. Can't quite see who that is for. Looks like it's Wingem for Davies on the draw. And here we see the reunion some long lost mates here with Lashovsky, Meyer and Klaus so they're put back together here. I don't know if that's, that's just because of the way that the penalties worked or if maybe it's just two minutes left in the period and you want to put them back together when you can get them back together but yeah they're out here now Klaus is going to be taking the draw with Lashovsky on the right and Meyer on the left. Yeah. And actually they're opposite there. They're on their off hands. Eagles countering with their number one line. Wingem, Lorenz and Spiewak. I think I was looking at Spiewak Sean last year in 27 games yep. played. He had 11 goals, 11 assists for 22 points as a sophomore. This year, he's already eclipsed that. He's got 11 points, or Lit excuse me, 11 goals, 12 assists for 23 points in 13 games. So wow. he's already on a pace to almost double up his junior year. So yeah, or yeah, sophomore, excuse me. So he's had a nice start to his junior year. All right, shot. Oh, rebound. Oh, smothered. I don't think he knew where it was. No, I, I believe right on that. Yeah, right off the face up here, as you can see on our replay. Charlie Sashi does a nice job, gets it back to that's Meyer, and he just takes one, two steps to the middle and threw it on net. Is that Deber in it? No, Metcalf. Metcalf. Uh -huh. Couldn't see. I saw one. It was like I was just Correct guessing if it was sophomore goaltender. Thirty-one. One. All right. Oh, drop pass from a streaking speedwack. Oh boy. Oh, back to oh, 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 just that looked in slow motion. Oh my goodness, that was a golden opportunity for for that number one line for Davies, but he lost his balance and could not get a stick out. Here they come again. Oh, going up top. Had a little bit of daylight there. Burham was down a little early. I hope one. our replay uh, can catch that uh, chance at Fargo Davies after. Oh, so lucky that, that uh, stayed out. Lucky was that he was, that's oh, that's there. a hook. Yeah, wow. That's gonna be number seven for Davies. That's gonna be Blake Winkums. Captain for the Davies Eagles, senior defenseman Cooper Klaus or Charlie Shafsky seems to be trying to go out of the out of the zone and I think maybe reactionary Winkum just tried to get a stick up in him and ended up hauling him down. Yeah. The first opportunity for the power play for the Mustangs. Yeah, here we go. Special teams. Let's see if we can capitalize on this. Shots 6-13 in favor of the Eagles. 118 remaining in the scoreless first period. Secretson 
Was that Cooper Klaus taking the draw? All right, a whole lot of traffic in front, but did not make it to the intended destination. Madden Weber looking to start this power play out for Mustangs. Jackson Glinky with the four check and eagle on that one. We're gonna have to start again. All right. Methodically coming in, going behind the net. Is that Hassler on that? Yeah, that was Ian Iverson on that All one. All right. He's out there with Hassler and Johnson, however. Okay, here we go. A little room on the fan on it. And a little room on the left-hand side. Mustangs moving it around. Shot. Kicked aside nicely. Tell me that was Metcalf. Law Metcalf doing his best to try and see that he's down. Mustangs, oh, squirted out of the zone. 24 seconds to go, shot high. That was Glinky on that one. And that will do it. Yeah, on that power play for Cheyenne, or you had Man Weber had two or three chances up top to get a puck to the net. That's how he scored his goal on the power play up at Eagles Green against Red River the other night. So, you know, Cheyenne trying to do some of the same things that created success for him uh, the other day. He had couple that were blocked and then a couple that ended up making their way through the net. I think a power play is going to be one of the things that, that Cheyenne you know, is going to desperately need is, is throughout much of that period there wasn't a whole lot of offensive flair from Cheyenne. No. But not a whole lot of offensive zone time. Not much in shots on goal. You talk about well, sometimes they can be deceiving with quality uh, versus quantity. Um, but I thought Davies did a really good job of not really giving Cheyenne anything through the neutral zone in that period. They made it very difficult. Um, you know, if you're Cheyenne though you look at you know, Brock Byrne coming into the net and Hasn't had a lot of competitive game action, but I thought right. in that first period. Look good. Look steady. Yeah, looked steady. Didn't look, you know, there wasn't a lot of bad rebounds or anything like that. However, <laughs> that play at the, near the very end of the period there, kind of a blown defensive coverage by Cheyenne. I don't know how that guy got you know, so wide open there and, and lucky for Cheyenne. Uh, had he not lost his wheels, yeah. I'm, I'm, we're going to have to watch that uh, yep. later on tonight to see how that puck didn't go in. But, yeah. So at the end of the first <laughs> period of play, Shots 13 to 7 in favor of the Eagles. Uh, Blake Wimpkin still has 42 seconds that he's going to have to serve on that hooking penalty. So Cheyenne is going to start the second period on the power play. All right. All Not right. your favorite, right? Starting the. Uh, I don't know. I just. And I don't. Mentally? I, maybe it's just myself. I don't know if other people <laughs> feel the same, but I feel, feel like uh. sometimes when you start the period with the power play, there's you know, different factors that that set in, and sometimes it's not as clean. Are you feeling this like no? A, a, a muted kind of sense of urgency when the period starts that you're not kind of in the flow? Yeah, I, I think a little bit. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You know, just getting your head back in the game after taking right. a 12-minute you know, break. So, yeah. And are you ready, you know? You, you know, we, 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 we've we talked about this where we see, you know, them stretching <laughs> after. Yeah. after. T talking about your kids' team? Yeah, right, yeah. and even even at this level, all right, they're stretching. I want them, you like, like you said, I want them at game speed, game pace, game mentality. But I think it, it does take them a while because they're not doing hot laps when, when they come on the ice. You know, they've rested. They're going to rest for 12 minutes. Get the blood flowing. Let's go. And that was Coach's Corner with Sean yeah, Burke. Right. We'll rejoin you with second period <laughs> action shortly after our break. I'm Kylie, and I work at Marvin. The training I received when starting at Marvin was very in-depth. When I moved to Marvin's new facility in Fargo, I was kind of nervous about the new machines that I was going to have to be working with, but I was also very excited because this robot that I get to work with is the coolest thing I've ever done. I love the people that I work with. Belonging to Marvin feels like a second home, somewhere that you can just kind of go to, not super stressful, you can enjoy your day and you can laugh. Come work with me at Marvin, we're an amazing team. Hi, I'm TJ Yoshi here at Marvin headquarters in Warrow, Minnesota. The Lake Town way of life is appealing to so many people. We've got a thriving school system, coffee shops, breweries, restaurants, and hockey is the hub of our community. We're probably the last place left in Minnesota where hockey is actually free. The way Marvin supports the town, the town supports Marvin is awesome. There's opportunities for you, work hard, self-educate. The sky's the limit here at Marvin. 
I'm Kyle and I'm a trainer at Marvin. I work on the night shifts because it works with my schedule. When I first started at Marvin, I started in the forklift department. I was there for three months and I saw an opportunity for a new position. I've never been at a company that has made me feel like they actually do care about my career and my career development. I've just had jobs in the past and I really feel like this is the first time I'm actually in a career. Come join me on the evening shift at Marvin. It's a great team and you'll have a lot of fun. Hi, I'm Christian and I work at Marvin. My military background is the basis of who I am. I was looking for something to help me be the Marine who wasn't a Marine anymore. Belonging to Marvin feels like I'm part of something. I know that being with Marvin means I'm making a difference in every homeowner's life because of the windows, skylights, and doors that I'm helping to build. Come work with me at Marvin. I think you'll enjoy it. Hi, I'm Joni and I work at Marvin. So when I first started, my training was very extensive. I was able to advance fairly quickly within Marvin. And it's just a matter of telling people that you're interested and really applying yourself. Belonging to Marvin feels like you're part of something, though it's more than just a job. For me, it's a career, and it's been a really exciting journey for me. Here, when our path takes an unexpected turn, we keep moving forward. When life sends us a message, we listen. When you're determined to beat the odds, we help you plan for what's next. This is commitment, resourcefulness, determination. These are remarkable people doing remarkable things together. Our health. It's what keeps us doing what we love. It keeps our communities strong. So how are you doing? There's no easier way to take care of yourself than checking in with us, your primary care team at Essentia Health. In person or online, we offer scheduling and appointment options that fit your life. We'll care for you today and keep an eye on things for the future and if needed, get you back on track. So take some time to connect with us because it's always good to check in. This place, we face obstacles like nowhere else. The clock, the trail, the hill, the challenge that's always waiting. When that challenge comes, we'll meet it together. Because this, it's your chance to show what you're made of. Tenacity, resilience, and the power to prove that the toughest competition comes from within. This is orthopedics and sports medicine like nowhere else. What does it take to make fitness part of your lifestyle? It's intention. It's commitment. It's resilience. It's just who you are. You put in the time and effort to stay active. Our expert orthopedic and sports medicine providers also put in the time and effort to invest in new methods and treatments. Whatever you do to stay active, we are here to keep you moving. It's just who we are. Orthopedics and sports medicine like nowhere else. Here, when your future lies ahead, we help set you on the right course. When your whole world is about to change, we help you prepare for your new life. When staying healthy means staying informed, we help you find answers. 
This is perseverance, understanding, connection. These are remarkable people doing remarkable things together. Hi, I'm Nick and I work at Marvin. So my team implements um, technology in manufacturing. So I quickly became really impressed with manufacturing as a setting for engineering. For an engineer, it's kind of a playground. Um, here at Marvin, specifically in the signature group, like we are in Grafton, it is high volume, high option. Meaning you have to make a lot of product, but it's always different. I, I never expected finding a great job like this kind of out here in a small town. Come work at Marvin. It's a great place to work. Hi, I'm TJ Yoshi here at Marvin Headquarters in Warroad, Minnesota. Let's check it out. Warroad is a small town way of life, right on Lake of the Woods. Some of the best fishing in the world. I think what makes us so unique here is within 15 minutes of me leaving work, I can be out on the lake, I can be on the golf course, I can be on the bike path, I can be out in the Beltrami Island State Forest. Just a fantastic way to grow up and to live life. I'm Diana and I work at Marvin. Working in manufacturing, not a lot of sitting, so it just uh, makes your day go by faster. Belonging to Marvin makes me feel stable. 25 years, my kids were little when I started here in Grafton. Now I have a daughter that works here. She was one of the ones that pushed me to become the lead, pushed me to be the person that I am now. And I just see myself retiring here. If you're looking for an awesome place to work, come join me at Marvin. All Ooh, right, that. fans, welcome back to the West Fargo Sports Arena as we do have a power play. In a minute 45, we'll have 42 oh, is there seconds. Is sound of with it. that? I like it. Yeah, you would, yeah. So, as we mentioned, that game up in Grafton looks like it did go final. Oh. At least the stream ended, so I assume oh. that means that uh, it did go final at the last check. It was. Four to three have, uh, ended. Oh, actually, four to three. Excuse so me. It ended five to two oh, uh, in favor of Devils Lake. And so, looking at our standings that we had, pull those back up again. There, yeah. Devils Lake was at seven. So right now, as we stand at eight nineteen, Devils Lake and Davies are going to be tied in the standings. Obviously, if Fargo Davies wins, they're going to move up to thirteen points and be tied with Fargo South Shanley. And if Cheyenne were to win, Cheyenne would go from. 9 to 12 and be able to jump off Davies in. All right. Devil's Lake. All right, here we go. I'm going to pay special attention to these guys coming on the ice. Let's see what they do. What are you talking about? I'm telling you, I want I want them coming out like. Oh, <laughs> you want some hot laps? <laughs> yes. Uh, you don't want them I want hot sauntering laps out here? Yeah, I want it like this is game seven. A little sense of urgency. Well, they had a little sense of urgency in the first period uh, when Ian Iverson streaked down uh, and had a nice opportunity on a two-on-one. But uh, since that time period, there was far and few uh, really good chances. They did have some of the power play, but the power play came with you know, less than two minutes remaining uh, in the period. So it would be imperative here for Cheyenne to figure out a way to get through that neutral zone. Right. And then to get up uh, into the offensive zone and have some better opportunities. Yeah, of those eight shots, oof, I'm going to go, yeah, maybe two that we saw that were. Yeah, I think maybe almost, well, at least two, maybe even three were on the power play at the yeah. end of the period. Yeah. Um, so, you know, they played a lot of that period without a lot of offensive uh, opportunities if we were to look back. 
and I don't think we could list one off the top of our head that was a perfect grade A opportunity, which you're not always going to have. You're going to have games where your offensive opportunities are going to be limited, but hopefully they're only limited uh, for a short period of time. So your assessment on which team you thought came out uh, uh, of the tunnel uh, here a little harder. Yeah, Davies came out. I've seen uh, uh, three laps here from some of these guys. So, <laughs> And now they're doing a little stretch, so yeah. Give me, yeah, give me the good warm-up. Well, the one doing the stretch in there right now I see is Lincoln Deaver, and he's the okay. backup goaltender. Yeah. So, but now some of his mates are are going to join him. So, Ours is a little, yeah. Is it up to your standard? No. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Too much chatting. Not enough business. Uh, now we'll stretch a bit. Well, fortunately, what really matters is right. how they play once they drop the puck and how yeah. they play in those 17 minutes. So. You can skate as hard as you want in between periods. Yeah. And it might look really good, but it's going to be uh, all for naught. Yeah, I see the. I see Debert talking to his uh, defensive mate. So, yeah, all business. It's a good period for both those goaltenders. You yeah. always want to go into the period, putting a goose egg up on the board. Yeah. You feel good about yourself. It's Andre work on the Berm. PK. The classic example there, Berm thought uh, that was an icing, so yeah. you, know, you start the period off and uh -huh. sometimes you're, you're out of the flow of the game a little bit. Yeah, you're right. All right, Mustangs, clean sheet of ice. Hopefully uh, we don't see much glisten, so this could, <laughs> could be good. All right, Mustangs, oh, fumbled it. Just at the goal line there. That was Lashovsky. wants that one back. All right, we're gonna attempt this again. Only seven seconds remaining on the power play. 16-22. Oh, good shot from the hash marks, right? In the middle of the slot there. A nice rush by Mason Christensen there, maybe reinvigorated after mm -hmm. his two-goal performance against the West Fargo Packers the other night. Yeah, but in that game, he had another nice rush as well. And then uh, right here, we see streaking up the middle of the ice, comes in and uh, put, a a shot. Sh put a shot right on Metcalf. Yeah, mm -hmm. so nice rush by clean view Christensen Metcalf though so yeah you know, at this level they're, they're just not going to score very often eh? so power play is going to be over unfortunately for Cheyenne they're not able to convert on that so they are going to be 0 for 1 in the power play and Davies is going to be 0 for 2 nice draw by Luke Lorenz there oh boy, choked down on that oh they nope. hit there along the boards oh, I believe that was Windham. I was writing down our power plays and our penalty kills. Is okay. that going to be, I see a four there. I believe that's going to be Caden Fritz. It's going to be down, yeah. They don't have a 14 and Blinky standing up, so that is going to be Fritz that's going to be down on the ice. Still on the ice. Sean, I didn't see that as I said. Yeah, I, I was writing down it either power plays and penalty or kills. But cross check, I was looking up ice. I heard it, but I mean, right. if that's any yeah. indication on what the hit was like, right up along the boards. It looked like he was going to get to his feet earlier on. But so I think with that, we'll take a short break, and then we'll rejoin you when action resumes. Working in manufacturing, not a lot of sitting, so it just uh, makes your day go by faster. Belonging to Marvin makes me feel stable. 25 years. My kids were little when I started here in Grafton. Now I have a daughter that works here. She was one of the ones that pushed me to become the lead, pushed me to be the person that I am now. And I just see myself retiring here. If you're looking for an awesome place to work, come join me at Marvin. Manufacturing, it's not for the faint of heart. It's not sitting down, doing nothing, just flipping out a couple pieces of wood each day. We are building tomorrow's windows. We all know 
that each unit that we build makes a difference, not just for the customer, not just for the company, but for each other as well. I'm Kyle and I'm a trainer at Marvin. I work on the night shifts because it works with my schedule. When I first started at Marvin, I started in the forklift department. I was there for three months and I saw an opportunity for a new position. I've never been at a company that has made me feel like they actually do care about my career and my career development. I've just had jobs in the past and I really feel like this is the first time I'm actually in a career. Come join me on the evening shift at Marvin. It's a great team and you'll have a lot of fun. All right, fans, welcome back to the West Fargo Sports Arena. As we're about to resume plays, the Cheyenne Mustangs are going to go on the power play for five minutes. It's going to be Garrett Windrum that's going to take a five-minute major, and Sean, I also believe that he is going to be out for the remainder of this game. Yeah, we saw, we saw someone else going into yeah, the box. Yeah, Caden Steenerson, it looked like he's going over to serve serve that five minutes in the box. So, yeah, so Windrum, that's going to be a big, big blow for the Davies Eagles, their top-line center. Yeah, it took several minutes for... Uh, Mr. Fritz to be tended to and make sure he had all his faculties about him. So we. Yes, hopefully he's okay. Yes. All right. 15 50 remaining in the scoreless second period. Mustangs with a golden opportunity here, a five minute power play. All right, Mustangs driving this in deep. Eagles' first one's on it though. Stopped. And they're gonna follow up on this. Now Eagles are able to clear it. Mustangs looking to regroup with their own line. Oh, almost at his pocket pick by an aggressive Eagle forward. And they are, nice job of standing everyone up with their blue, own blue line. Nowhere to go in that neutral zone for, no, there isn't. for the Mustangs right now. 15 minutes remaining, just over four minutes on the power play. Mustangs having a difficult time trying to get into the zone. They're going to chip this in high and chase it down. All right, here we go. Puck on it. Oh, softly. Shot. Oh, blocked by the Mustang. Oh, sorry, blocked by the Eagle. He's feeling that. Nice job. That was Max Johnson sacrificing the body. He's limping around but staying on the ice. All right, Mustangs looking to get it. Max Johnson. There he is again. Nice job of clearing that. He's going to find his way to the bench, I'm assuming. Yep, gives a thumbs up to his well, coach, actually. Well, he's, yeah, he's, so he's fine. I got it. All right, just a stinger. I'm, I'm good, coach. All right, 3.23 remaining on this power play for the Mustangs. Here they come, a little bit of room on this left-hand side. That's Cooper Klaus with a design play. Shooting at cross ice. Iverson back to the point. Christensen. Over to Weber. Weber looking back door. Oh, oh, puck is loose. Oh, can't get a handle on it. Oh, man, that was Dylan Johnson wants that one back. But there were a couple bodies on him trying to get it to the backhand. That was just never able to get yeah. it out of his forehand. And a really good opportunity there. Yeah. Both him and Cy Hazer on the net. I believe Johnson was going to have the better of the two opportunities. But good job by the Davies defenseman. Yeah. And Johnson's not a small kid either. I mean, he's, he's a strong player, so that Davis right. defenseman had to do a, a good job on a good size. Cross uh, ice dumping's the uh, order of the day here. That's two for the Mustangs. Shot for the point. Oh, right on. Yes! Slinky, there we go. 
Good job, that was quick. It was Ian Iverson that just ripped that shot there. We see his, on, on our replay there, the rebound came right to him. And one wow. of the things I like there, Sean, is he doesn't take time to dust that oh. puck off, just gets it right on his stick. Maybe if he makes an extra one or two stick handles, he runs out of time there. But yeah, just a really, really, really nice shot right there by It caught me off guard, Ian so it caught, it caught the goalie off guard too, because I thought we're going back to the point there and looking, I'm looking back and all of a sudden that puck is in the net. Yeah, well one done. The, one of the things you're with a five minute major yeah, that five minute major continues right. so Cheyenne still has over two minutes of power play time left yes let's see if we can capitalize on it nice job keeping it in with point Christensen shot oh off the mask of shoulder is hard to tell on that one and there it is the old net coming off it's, it's that, always on this side it's always on this side and it's always the right post yeah every I think maybe they need to invest in the I don't know if structurally you can but you know yeah. how you drill down and yep. you put the pegs in or maybe just go back in the old days. you remember days back in the days? Get, get the nets where they just don't move. Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, unfortunately, we'd see more ankle and leg injuries. Do you remember that? The Marty Howe case. nearly yeah, broke it caused, yeah. yeah. And lost his spleen, I believe, on that. It fell on the post. Yeah, that was scary. Oh, that was a terrible hop. I don't know if that was ice or just <laughs> it's just, <laughs> just bad luck. Uh, Mustang defense waiting for Oh, my gosh. Bad luck there What well. a giveaway. Yes. Oh, ho. Oh. Wow, Mustangs need to be careful on this. A giveaway right in front of their own net. I don't. Uh, Unfortunately, they, they had that almost same thing happen in the first period yeah. as well. I don't think the Eagle fo floor checker could believe his uh, fortune there and uh, kind of rushed it, I think, and, uh, and just missed the post on that backhand. And we're just going to send one over the uh, right field wall there into the Cheyenne bench. So Cheyenne still is going to have a minute 17 left on the power play here. Shots now were even at 15-15. So Cheyenne having some opportunities here. They had five full minutes of power play opportunity almost. Look at it almost really this entire second period. Yeah. All right, 12-17 remaining in a one nothing Mustang lead here. Mustangs with 1-10 remaining on the power play. Rogan. Shot blocked. Rogan pinching in, trying to get it. Oh, read nicely by the Eagles. Rogan cannot keep it in. Got nothing official in front of me, Sean, but it Mason seems Christensen to me that to uh, Fargo Davies has done a nice job today blocking some of those shots. We talked yeah. about one with Johnson, and then right there again. Yeah. It is a uh, skill that's not for the faint of heart. Uh, when you watch the younger kids, a lot of them will go sideways or. Gotta do the flamingo when That's it comes by. Do you so your uh, last game here? Yeah. Trivia question was about the flamingo. Yeah. 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 And I get it. It, it doesn't feel good. No. And I know you got padding everywhere. You know, almost everywhere. So. Oh. That was Cooper Klaus. Sent for a little spill there, but. Oh, good job keeping that in, but they went a little too far off the body or of the shaft of the stick on that one. Mustangs with 22 seconds remaining on the power play. A time for one more rush. Oh, nearly lost it at the line. Oh, and then blows the tire. Luckily, there was someone else back there. Oh, a dangerous pass up the middle. It's going to do but it. We for had power numbers, play yeah. For Cheyenne. It uh, didn't finish very strong. No. Did get the one from Iverson. Yes. Though, so, so they do sit. With a one nothing right. lead now, about halfway yeah. through. Not halfway through, but almost roughly seven through second period. All right, we're gonna pick a little pocket. Oh, nice move! Oh, oops. yeah, Klaus is looking for the net. <laughs> he found one. It was just the wrong color. Instead yeah, the, oops! Putting it in the six by four, he went over. Yeah, really nice move by Cooper Klaus coming in there. Yeah, a little inside outside and move. Yes. Didn't have, didn't have a ton of room. <laughs> and tried to go uh, short side over the goalie's shoulder and put it up into the uh, the black netting. All right, Dylan Johnson taking a draw for the Mustangs. Eagles going to counter with Seckerson. Mustangs going to draw. Retreating back in their own zone there. As, as we've said, good pressure and a giveaway. Good pressure by the Eagles. Making it difficult to get out of their own zone even. 
Oh, Mustangs read that one nicely. Shot. Oh, good save. Metcalf flashing the leather. MC Hasler and Iverson come in. Iverson just on side if we watch that rebound. I think that shot may have been going just wide, but I don't want to take away any of the no. reflexes and flexibility that Metcalf showed right there. Eh. Doing things that uh, maybe you can do with your circuit training, but I no, will not. No, man. I, yeah, no, uh, flexibility is not my strong suit. Grunting, yeah. Flexibility, no. Oh, nearly broke through on the face off there. I like that. Andringa. Cutting right to the net on that face-off win on that right-hand side. Good. All right, 10 minutes exactly remaining in this second period. Mustangs clinging to a 1-0 lead. Puck is going to go all the way down to the Eagles zone. That was Voler back for it. Not a lot of room for either teams to generate... Much offense here. Defense is the order of the day here. All right. Eagles going to attempt something on. Yeah, a lot of uh, high flips. Trying to get the puck in deep. All right, Mustangs looking to come in on this. Oh, looked like almost like a trip there. And he's, uh, Cooper Klaus is uh, kind of wondering uh, why there was no call. Oh, nice pass on the feet. Oh, blocked again for the Eagles. That was that was Luke Lorenz. I think he took that one in the arm. Handling it very well. All right. All right. Bunch of players at, at the Eagles blue line. Yeah, there's just not a lot of room out here. On either side. There it is, blocked. That's it. All right. Mustangs looking to generate something. Oh, cut to the slot. Nice save. He's way out there on that one, Metcalf. Nice job. Not the tallest of goal. He's very flexible, though, as we just witnessed over the last few shots here. Yeah, it was a nice play by Meyer there. He cut to middle, and he had the Shofsky that was trying to take away the vision of Metcalf there, but was able to snare that one right out of the air. Yeah, I like when they curl to the middle like that. Kind of lose their yeah, lose He was their on his check. forehand, shielded the yeah. puck very nice. Yeah, if you're on your forehand, yeah. obviously. Creates a good it's opportunity a for himself. A lot easier than if you're on your back end. All right. Eagles able to come away with this one. Max Johnson looking to get it out of his own zone. Fast to his line mate, Majerus. All right, backhand, oh, no look pass up the boards, intercepted by the Eagles. Eagles looking to create something here. Oh, high backhand pass, glove down. Turn around at the line. Eagles looking to get possession of the Mustang zone. They cannot. Mustang's going to break it up here on this right-hand side. Chip and chase. Create something down low. All right. Oh, good stick lift there. That was Johnson again. All right. Eagles looking to go cross ice. They do. A little room at center ice. Mustangs have numbers back. though. shot from way out. Off the Mustang defender. High clearing attempt, that's work. The bulldoze his way through the checker. Mustang's gonna go, yeah. Oh, good, nice stick lift there, here we go. Get a good chase, he's got some room on this right hand side. Klaus, oh good toe save. Nice job by Metcalf. Looked like for a second he had him beat and then Metcalf does the split and says, yeah. No sir, my friend. Paul's just going to turn the speed on yeah. there really late and kind of deceptively on that defenseman. So good job of him. Puck up I like that sometimes, you know, where, where the player kind of indicating he's got fatigue and that's the end of it. And then this puts on the afterburner. It's kind of like a Mr. Klaus did there. He had Fans, if you are just as upset as I am over the recent dip in temperatures and you find yourself at <laughs> home and you don't want to leave home and you enjoy watching Cheyenne Mustang Media, please subscribe to Cheyenne Mustang Media on YouTube. You can follow on our social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Never miss a second of Cheyenne Mustang action, whether it be swimming, wrestling, uh, girls basketball, boys basketball, or hockey. What do we got tonight? Us and wrestling, right? It's us Correct? wrestling, yes, at the gym, and then tomorrow. Yep, uh, let's hear it. Should be a very good uh, slate of basketball games. Yep. Oh, tonight. Mustang's unable to clear that. Oh, it's bobbled the boat. 
nothing clean right now on both sides. Every inch is earned right now. Getting back to that big basketball game tomorrow. Yeah. You have Sorry. The Davies Eagles and the Cheyenne yep. Mustangs. Yep. So going to be. Who, a, uh, uh, where are we in the in the standings with with the either of those teams? Is Upper, middle. Davies one, North two, Cheyenne three. Ooh. Davies and North just played the other day. Davies got a win on the road up yep. there. The Spartan Dome. So yeah, should be a good game tomorrow. Won't catch it on Cheyenne Mustang Media though because it is on the road. However, any home game this year, you'll be sure to find it on Cheyenne Mustang Media. All right. All right, here we go. 6:32 remaining in the second period. I'm gonna say hard fought. Yes. Second been. period. You're you're earning every inch of real estate down there. Look at that. The four guys all wanted to claim that puck. Oh, shot. A lot of bodies out front, but. And, and the problem with a lot of bodies out front is, is trying to get through them. And the case right there, went off one or two bodies, not getting to that hole. Nice pass, but a lot of eagles right on you. All right. Oh, Iverson looking to center that one. Read by the eagles. Oh, that's a tough pass in a short amount of space there. If that pass is not right on, that's intercepted going the other way. Yeah, that's kind of a dangerous yeah. spot there to make that pass. Yeah. I'd rather them skate it and then try to create something rather than trying to force that pass. All right, 541 remaining in this first period. Oh. Yeah, a little Believe tricky that, shot yeah, there. That Tough Spiewak angle, yeah. There, who's their leading scorer for the Davies Eagles this year. Yeah, it comes in on Berman, tries to catch him sleep a little bit uh, right off of that post. More and more we're seeing kind of that, like below the goal line, and if they see an inch or two of Mason real estate. Christensen scored behind yeah. the goal line. Cooper Close has a goal like that this year. Yeah. Red River scored like that the other day, so you are right. It does seem like it and, is more common. And you, see it in the, and you see it in the NHL. And it's, yeah. Uh, the players are just so skilled now. And uh, Oh, did you see that goal that McDavid scored? No. Yeah, you did. I know you did. Oh, yeah. He played it off the helmet on oh. purpose. Yes. Right? And they said that. Oh my goodness, yes, uh, I did see it, you're right. All right, 514 remaining in this first period. One nothing Mustangs if you just tuned in. In a hard fought battle so far. Oh, we got some room. We got a breakaway on this right hand side. Shot, oh, over top the net, Klaus again. He's gotta keep that puck down a little bit. Unless, you know, we got a smaller goalie, so I get what he's getting at. He sees well, a bit of real estate here. <laughs> He's got yeah, third time. Oh, great move. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Woo! Oh, he just went at the, at the blue line, put the move on, and then split the D and an A plus shot just under the blocker. And on he, that, he oh my God, zone, undressed he, him. Yeah, he spun Johnson like a top right there. And <laughs> Klaus, he had that shot oh earlier. Oh my he went right goodness. Over and I was going to say, it's not for the lack of opportunities. That's his, I think, yeah. third time coming down yeah. just on this side in this period. He usually comes down uh, on the left-hand side, but yeah, he went yeah. right through Johnson right I there. I saw Majerus look like he was around. a step behind too. One of the prettier goals you are going to see. Well done. All right. Mustangs two, Eagles nothing. That is a huge goal. Let's see what the, uh, oh. Burham had a little bit of difficulty with that shot. So 4-19 remaining in the second period. Mustangs now with a two nothing lead. See if they can add to it right now. Oh, shot. Oh, the puck. Oh, he, th he wasn't sure where it is, Metcalf. Yeah, that was Iverson, the walk up block. Yes. I thought Iverson's had a strong offensive yes. game today, and I don't know if it's, Maybe the juggling of lines or whatever the case may be, but obviously he had the you know Cheyenne first goal, and I thought he's played a really good game. He's had some plays where he's in the second period where he's come off the wall and he's he's made things happen in the offensive zone. Yes, I totally agree. We've said his name a number of times already. All right, nice draw by the Mustangs. Yeah, too much traffic there. Take your time, create something. All right, good pass up the boards. In the zone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go, yeah, Metcalf. You had, you had five players yeah. almost <laughs> below the dots right there. Charlie Lachowski has the puck, and, yeah. and Christensen's like, when are you going to give it to me? Yeah. There's no one up here. And you know, that's one of the things that uh, if you notice that those uh, Davies wingers are going to suck down a little bit, uh, utilize your defenseman. Yeah, they're, you're, you're not getting it through the five to eight bodies that were there. Nice draw again by the Mustangs. Oh, 
Big rebound here. Lashovsky tried to center that to Iverson again. Iverson's got a nose for the net this, this period. Oh, see a force pass. Oh, submarined. Oh, and he is hurt. Uh, hopefully he's okay there. Just maybe the, hopefully the wind just got knocked out of him. That was Luke Lorenz went head over heels on that one. All right, 3.22 remaining in the second period. Shots now, 23-16 the Mustangs. Yeah, much stronger period for Cheyenne. Talk about obviously they were aided in the first uh, five minutes of the period. They had that uh, power play. Where they, they, excuse me, they were able to pop one. Uh, but even after that, they've done you know a lot of nice things offensively here. You know, they've even had more chances mm -hmm. where if you look at shots, we talk about they can be deceiving. Well, he had two right there that close had that were great opportunities, just uh, was unable to put them on net or you know, have that other opportunity. So, yeah, they've had a strong offensive period, much, much better, much improved after their first period. All right, we got Klaus stepping in there and Luke Lorenz for, for David. Good to see he's okay and after that low hit at... Uh, Davies blue line on that one. Oh, wow. Nice pass off the boards there. Don't see that very often. All right, three minutes exactly remaining in the second period. Mustangs trying to grab a hold of that Estebo. Fighting the puck a little bit on that one. Oh, shot. Oh, he doesn't know where it is. It's hard to see right here. All right. Mustangs looking to get this out. Cannot. Job at the line by the Eagles. All right, they're just content to get that, find some real estate, and get it out of the zone and regroup. Unfortunately, Blanky was just throwing it up the left side there to alleviate some pressure. All the forwards were on the right side of the ice. Mm -hmm. Lost in translation, yeah. I think, Sean. All right, that was Wemkin overskated that one. That's a second one. Those are. Watch your lips if you're standing on the bench there. Those are scary. Those pucks get deflected. Very calm and cool and collected, that uh, coaching staff. Uh, just yeah. a, like a little head. Uh, Went right, right in between. Yeah. Look close from this Metcalf angle. Metcalf wants like. a conversation with the officials. Probably telling him, I hope you saw my reflexes. <laughs> Not quite sure if he wants a penalty or what the discussion is there. I don't know, did you say anything, Sean, that you thought warranted maybe a call in the last shift there that would maybe warrant a discussion? Uh, I think maybe he's saying that... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It looked yeah. like. I agree. Yeah. If we see that again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it wasn't quite <laughs> a hip you check. Spot it here, was, buddy. yeah. No, I know. I'm just trying to replay that in my head. So, yeah. Oh, oh Mustangs. Look. Oh, backdoor off this post. Oh, Lashovsky. Oh, there's that right post again. Great play. Oh, man, that would have been huge at this juncture with 2.07 remaining in the Sean, second. Sean, I kind of like, I'm not good at math, but I like looking at statistics and, yep. try and think they're, I want a statistical analysis study done on how many times that that peg on that oh my goodness! off. I want it done at every Bantam <laughs> game, every Cheyenne game, every Packer game, uh, every United game. And these bigger kids and these bigger goalies get uh -huh. out here. I don't know if it's just not secured well, in there or what, but and yeah, and then it pops off a lot. Well, word of mouth is going gonna to go. It's like, okay, if you're in and trouble, it, hit the right hand side of the post on yeah we've seen equal on the west offenders side. too it's, on the it's, west side yeah we're not yeah we're not claiming the metcalf's kicking it off right we've seen it happen absolutely and he's not the biggest of goalies no so, so I, yeah, it's just it's, it's unfortunate yeah, right? it's, i mean to be honest with you that's the way i see it yeah. penalty there cross yeah. truck in front yep oh with 136 remaining in yeah. the second period not the greatest of time and not that it's ever a good time to take a penalty oh correct yeah Especially with the Christian two nothing lead. This is going to go to the box. Both officials. Uh, <laughs> you had one in the neutral zone, one in the defensive zone. Both of them threw their arms mm -hmm. up right away. So it's it the one that everyone's watching the play uh, and they all see yeah, it. Mr. Christensen's questioning his cross check. So a third time for West Fargo Cheyenne that they're going to, or excuse me, that uh, Davies Eagles are going to go on the power play. Cheyenne's been good tonight. Uh, two for two on the penalty kill all so right. far. They are missing one of their power play specialists, I know, for. The Eagles. Yeah, that's going to be Wyndham. Yes. All right. Pass back to the point. That's bobbled. Mustang defender on it. Oh, shot. Oh, from a distance. That looked like it had eyes there. All right. Shot from the right-hand side. Blocked. 
Cannot get it out though. Good job by the Eagles defense. He's calling for it again. Can't quite see what that is. They got Spiewak manning the, the point. Yes, it was Spiewak. Yeah, Davies is putting big body Brady Haskin in right in front there. Number yeah. 20 for Davies. He's got real good size and real tough to move. Unfortunately, Dylan Johnson is uh, given the task of trying to do that. Are we talking or at least was. Mark or Haskin? Mark. No, Haskin. Oh, okay. Yes, I saw that. All right, 30 seconds remaining in the period. All right. Eagles. That's Albrecht looking to create something here. Oh, nice read by the Mustang defender with over, just over 15 seconds to go. Albrecht going to try this again. Oh, bad bounce off a, off a body. Oh. Oh. This is something call. here where, and I... It's a high stick on Lorenz, and it's it's a very reactionary play, Sean. We see it happen all the time, but the puck shot up in the air. Klaus is trying to shoot it out of the zone, and I think Lorenz could have just put his hand up and caught it. It was yep. a shot that but he sticks the stick up in the air, and then now you have a defense's own faceoff with 4.7 seconds left in the period. So it does yeah. create a good opportunity here for Cheyenne. Plenty of time to create something off of this faceoff right here even though you do only have four guys out there. Now yeah, we've got we Cooper got, Klaus we've got taking the, the draw. Close, yep. Oh, it draws one, shot back to the point. Oh, nice fake. We're running out of time here though. Uh, that was a nice move, but uh, as soon as you did that move, you're taking about one second off and yeah. yeah. They, they almost had it right away to Lashovsky, yeah. just one or two inches you know, right off the blade of a stick there. And yeah, and then Estevo trying to create something just Ran out of room, ran out of time. So, Sean, in that second period, I think much, much improved yes. over the first period that Cheyenne had. If, you know, if we look at uh, Rink Raider after the first period of play, our shots on net and the, and the chances that they had, shots on net were 13-7 to for Cheyenne. We look at here, it's 24-17. Uh, power plays and special teams you know, play a little bit of a role in that, but how many times in that period did we have an ooh or an ah where we thought that Cheyenne had a good opportunity? Even you know, Dylan Johnson right in front, right. unable to get a stick on it. Uh, Cooper Klaus had multiple opportunities. So a much, much more improved offensive period for Cheyenne. Yeah, totally agree. Uh, I like it too, they're involved. So we got Coach Benson talking to a few of his players. It's like, all right, here we go. And uh, yeah, I, I like the fact that they're still out here and it's you know not addressing the whole team. It's like, okay, you guys are our leaders right here. Yeah. All right, this is a big game. Like, I mean, I don't know if that's what's being said, and I appreciate that our players are still out there. So, yeah, this is it's a it's a big game, and, and you know, Devils Lake has already won. So, yeah, three I'd say big huge might points. Even be an under, I was, that's where You're I was right. going to go with right there. I mean, this is a huge game. I think big might even be a little bit of an understatement, knowing what Devils Lake did, and obviously they probably don't understand or don't know right. that right yet or right now. Excuse me, but you, know, you look, you talked about. This is now the time that they're going to start matching up with these teams again for the second time this year. You're going to want to get sweeps with if you can. I mean, they did beat Grafton, so they can get a sweep there. They beat Central, they can get a sweep yeah. there. But they're going to have to pick up splits with with uh, Central, North, West Fargo, Davies. They could get a sweep over right. South. No one know. wants to finish in seventh or eighth. The way these two Grand Forks teams are playing, yeah. and I know over the last two years we, we've had Central's number, you know, but Central has, been, I think, <laughs> been much improved throughout this year, and so right. that's, I mean, and you got to go up there and beat them. They've done it. I mean, yes. it certainly can be done, but right. it's it's not something that is a, a, a yeah. very easy task to do. You don't want to start on the road. Right. No one does. And I, again, I'm talking about Brock, or, uh, Brock Berm, excuse me, <laughs> settled into this game. Yep. Done just fine. You know, coming into the game, you, know, you have some time off. You maybe have to knock off a little bit of the rust. But yeah, Berm has come in and. And he's, he's played just fine. He's had 18 saves uh, through two periods of play. So, you know, defensively, Cheyenne is doing some nice things to help him out. We talked about our shots on net after the first period of play. We said, well, what, do you remember there, Sean? Uh, I believe we had seven. They had they 15. Had, I think it was 10, wasn't it? Or was it 15? No, they had, they had 13. 13. You know, so that period of play, Cheyenne defenseman, you know, doing a nice job. Forwards doing a nice job. Back checking, hold Davies Eagles. Out of just five shots on net. So that's something if you're, 
Coach Metcalf there, you're kind of seeing, you know, the periods being flipped and uh, in the intermission, you're going to want to try to bottle up some of that magic that your team had in the first period. And if you're Coach David Benson, you're going to want to say, hey, keep the foot on the gas, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah, the scoring opportunities were far in our favor in that second period. So with that, we will take a short break. Cheyenne is up 2-0 over the Fargo Davies Eagles after two periods of play. I'm Kylie and I work at Marvin. The training I received when starting at Marvin was very in-depth. When I moved to Marvin's new facility in Fargo, I was kind of nervous about the new machines that I was going to have to be working with, but I was also very excited because this robot that I get to work with is the coolest thing I've ever done. I love the people that I work with. Belonging to Marvin feels like a second home, somewhere that you can just kind of go to, not super stressful, you can enjoy your day and you can laugh. Come work with me at Marvin, we're an amazing team. I'm Joni and I work at Marvin. So when I first started, my training was very extensive. I was able to advance fairly quickly within Marvin. And it's just a matter of telling people that you're interested and really applying yourself. Belonging to Marvin feels like you're part of something. So it's more than just a job. For me, it's a career. And it's been a really exciting journey for me. What does it take to make fitness part of your lifestyle? It's intention. It's commitment. It's resilience. It's just who you are. You put in the time and effort to stay active. Our expert orthopedic and sports medicine providers also put in the time and effort to invest in new methods and treatments. Whatever you do to stay active, we are here to keep you moving. It's just who we are. Orthopedics and sports medicine like nowhere else. Hi, I'm Micah and I work at Marvin. I've been in the military for eight years. I was a preventive medicine technician in the U.S. Navy. And so that translated over to working at Marvin and how can safety help make Marvin a better company. The culture of working at Marvin is probably the best one I've worked with other than being in the military. Working together and caring about each other. You feel like you're part of the family at Marvin. Come work with me at Marvin. It's a great place to work. Hi, I'm TJ Yoshi here at Marvin Headquarters in Warrow, Minnesota. The Lake Town way of life is appealing to so many people. We've got a thriving school system, coffee shops, breweries, restaurants, and hockey is the hub of our community. We're probably the last place left in Minnesota where hockey is actually free. The way Marvin supports the town, the town supports Marvin is awesome. There's opportunities for you, work hard, self-educate. The sky's the limit here at Marvin. Hi, I'm Christian and I work at Marvin. My military background is the basis of who I am. I was looking for something to help me be the Marine who wasn't a Marine anymore. Belonging to Marvin feels like I'm part of something. I know that being with Marvin means I'm making a difference in every homeowner's life because of the windows, skylights, and doors that I'm helping to build. Come work with me at Marvin. I think you'll enjoy it.
I'm Nick and I work at Marvin. So my team implements um, technology in manufacturing. So I quickly became really impressed with manufacturing as a setting for engineering. For an engineer, it's kind of a playground. Um, here at Marvin, specifically in the signature group, like we are in Grafton, it is high volume, high option meaning you have to make a lot of product, but it's always different. I, I never expected finding a great job like this kind of out here in a small town. Come work at Marvin. It's a great place to work. I'm Kyle and I'm a trainer at Marvin. I work on the night shifts because it works with my schedule. When I first started at Marvin, I started in the forklift department. I was there for three months and I saw an opportunity for a new position. I've never been at a company that has made me feel like they actually do care about my career and my career development. I've just had jobs in the past and I really feel like this is the first time I'm actually in a career. Come join me on the evening shift at Marvin. It's a great team and you'll have a lot of fun. Here, when our path takes an unexpected turn, we keep moving forward. When life sends us a message, we listen. When you're determined to beat the odds, we help you plan for what's next. This is commitment, resourcefulness, determination. These are remarkable people doing remarkable things together. Here, when your future lies ahead, we help set you on the right course. When your whole world is about to change, we help you prepare for your new life. When staying healthy means staying informed, we help you find answers. This is perseverance, understanding, connection. These are remarkable people doing remarkable things together. Hi, I'm Gabby and I work All right, Ike fans, welcome back to the West Fargo Sports Arena where we are ready to bring you third period action between the home team on the scoreboard, the West Fargo Cheyenne Mustangs and the visitors, Fargo Davies Eagles, where after two periods of play, uh, Cheyenne has built themselves a 2 nothing lead. And Sean, correct me if I'm wrong, but you had some home improvements a couple years ago. You put a brand new door in, correct? New front door? <laughs> yes, sir. Any home improvements on the horizon at all coming up this summer? Uh, so that door, and luckily, so window world uh, props to you guys oh just kidding did I, did I say Marvin windows you certainly did <laughs> if, if you are thinking of wow. improvements this summer like putting in new windows look no further than Marvin I, imagine I, and create I would love new windows better ways of living with Marvin well if you want new windows you can head over and buy some Marvin windows a premier sponsor of Cheyenne Mustang Media and we appreciate all right let's go support. we're gonna help you here on this one the quote here is, I really like when team names have to do with the cities they play in. Nothing about this one is, this one is spot on. Well, there's four professional major sports, so you got to give me which one is it. We're going uh, b-ball, my friend. Basketball? It yeah. It has nothing to do with the city that they play in? Oh, it has to do. It has everything to do with the city they play in. The Oklahoma City Thunder, the Portland Trailblazers, the Memphis Grizzlies, the Atlanta Heat, the Milwaukee Bad boys, Bucks. bad boys, what you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? Oh, uh, my gosh. What's the matter with you? You tell me. It's Detroit Pistons, uh, my friend. Yeah, Bill Lambeer. Detroit Pistons. Yeah. Come on. Bill in the, uh, All right. We're going hockey with this one. Okay. Another one so appropriate of where they are. Give me geographical region. Geographical region. We're going little west, little north. Vancouver Canucks. Not that. <laughs> Not I don't that know. High. You tell me. It is. the hockey. The Colorado Avalanche, yeah. my friend. Okay, yeah. So many mountains. 
Number five. We're going to football. You were cl close with the previous guest now. Seattle Seahawks. Yes. Are you kidding me? Nice. Is there is that a, a real bird? Is there a Seahawk? I don't know, but uh, their logo is on a lot of the totems if you drive around uh, that part of Washington. Is the Seahawk a real thing? I saw it on all the totems when I was there. Uh, not all of them, but a lot of them. All right, we're going to football for number four. There's like 32. You got to give me one. <laughs> we're going. Uh, we're going a poet. The Ravens. The Ravens. Baltimore. Nice. Number one Very seed nice. in the AFC. All right, number three is in the news today. The Patriots. Yes. Good job. And let's go. 1656 remaining. Third period. Two nothing Mustangs. Eagles with possession at their own blue line. Looking to get this in. Clean sheet of ice for the third. Nice stick check there by the Mustangs. They are shorthanded for three more seconds. Cooper Klaus first one in on this puck. Iverson coming quickly out of the box. Christensen. Christensen, right. I see. I, it's all bundled up at the back. I mean, my apologies, Mace. All I saw was a two, and it looked to be a zero. All right. Good job. All right. Davies looking to dump and chase. Yeah, there's not still not a lot of real estate. I don't know what was said by Metcalf between the second and third periods. Oh, that's a dangerous pass with two nothing lead cross ice like that. Stop it. Play hard, defend. Don't take unnecessary chances. All right, good job there on the, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good speed there on the on that right wing. So oh, that was, opportunity. was that Trace Meyer? Yeah, it was another awesome. opportunity by Iverson there again. Yeah, this line's played well. They have a newly formed unit. Yeah, good job. So Metcalf, I mean Mr. Benson. Man, let's find our voice here. Yeah, and we've seen a lot of different combinations, I think, kind of throughout the game this year we've had Klaus has done some double shifting Estebo tonight we see him back on D with Rogan there but yep. we've seen him a lot of times play up front and play right. forward so yeah, this is really kind of a team and recently too yeah, yeah I mean not just it's really been a team by, by committee this year yeah you got to appreciate the versatility too so I mean sometimes it's you know going from offense to defense is not easy and I think I just heard the other day that it's five to eight years, they say, for a defenseman in the NHL, which to me almost seems like a career, to be comfortable in that spot, which, wow. Oh, I, play, I, I mean, played forward, Sean, and you know what every forward <laughs> says about defensemen. What's that? Oh, it's easy. It's yeah. lazy. You get to you know, <laughs> sag behind the play. But you play in the defensive zone like Estebo right there trying to you know control yeah. Andre Work, who's a big size player. Right. Oh, you know, nice. You try that, and you realize it's uh, – not as easy down. as it always yeah. looks. Yeah, again, that, another errant yeah. uh, uh, pass there. Kind of Cheyenne, I kind of want to manage the game. Right through the slot. Bit, yeah, a little bit better play, a little bit more north-south rather than more east-west. Yes, I totally can. agree. All right, 14-42 remaining. Mustangs with their 2 nothing lead. All right. Draw one by the Eagles. Angling off the boards, did not get to the intended receiver. The touch on that pass, Cooper Klaus. Back pass, getting back to Klaus. Tried to direct it towards the net. Did not find the mark, went behind the net. This could be icing on that one, if I'm not mistaken, no. All right, Eagles able to clear this in big. Andre work behind the net, lurking there. Ooh, tough angle, but not much on that one. Mason Christensen, you tackled a nice touch on that yeah. pass. Just kind of, just kind of flipped it into yeah. the air and and they got yeah. it right by Gunnar Majerus and close. It was just a you know couple feet. And that's a fresh sheet ice, and that's not that it, that's touch. That's that's practice. Just, that is, uh, yeah, just a little bit out of his reach. And was never able to get a handle on it. And, Easier and have said a good than score done. An opportunity. All right, we've got Lashovsky out here. What do we got for Iris and Meyer? With him. All right. All right. Eagles is going to be Seckerson, Albright, and Work. 
apologize, a little shuffling of the lines yeah. there because uh, the game disqualification of Windham, so that looks right. like that's going to be Albright that All has right, yeah. gone up and taken the spot of Windham. All right, that is going to four icing on that one. 13.49 remaining We're in the third period. And it's chilly. Well, it, it's funny because growing up in Canada, like this was probably February, March weather for us, but we were spoiled this winter. And now when the wind comes and the cold, you're going, oh my goodness. Had to park a little closer to the door today than usual. <laughs> yeah, all right. Nice draw by the Eagles, but blocked. There he is, Mr. Iverson. Kind of doing a bit of everything today. Yeah, he's had a nice strong game. Yep. A little touch pass there. Intercepted by the Mustangs, though. Yeah. Nothing's coming easy right now. All right, Mustangs. Three men back there. Good job. The coverage. All right. Just picked Luke Lorenz's pocket on that one. Jackson Glinky have a look around. Oh, nice pass. Way to handle him, too. Nicely in stride by Trace Meyer. Trace Meyer looking to go inside. Oh, almost going to the back end where he put that move and that beautiful goal a few games ago that we saw, but he was ridden into the boards in that one. Jackson Glinky. Guess just saw at the last second that uh, Trace Myers was still in the zone, so they're going to bring this back. Glinky having a look around at the options. Oh, it's red nice. I didn't realize he had it, though. And that was Big Brady asking it on that one in the four check. All right, Eagles looking to go back to our no, nothing doing there. Had two Mustangs collapsing on that one. All right. Oh, yikes. Oh, that dangerous pass, but uh, yeah, right there was front. Mustangs. Yeah, right in front again. Fortunately, Christensen was yeah. right there and was all over it. All right, Kean Hannestad trying to track that one down. Cannot. Eagles are on it at their own line, looking to go cross ice. They do. Nice pass. Was well, a nice pass, yeah. Sekerson got it, but fortunately for Berm, put right, it right into way his way out there. Net, he's and that's a as easy as a save as Berm yeah. is probably going to make on late. That just right yeah. into his chest, and exactly if you're a goaltender, that's exactly what you want. No rebound. Yep. Good job by Brock. Yep. 11:59 remaining in this third period. Shots 25 to 19 in favor of the Mustangs, as the score also favors them two to nothing at this juncture. All right. Oh, I don't really like us going to the middle there. I'd rather us go up the boards. Oh, big hit by Andre Work, but it's probably going to be no puck. I'm assuming. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, Dylan Johnson was just skating right up out of the zone. Puck, as you said, their partner puck was yep. not there, and pop. Work just put a shoulder into Johnson, knocks him down, and it's going to send Cheyenne back to the power play. 11:51. Johnson had the puck come off the stick right out about the blue on there. And How tight this has been. A goal here would go a long ways away to earning three points for the Mustangs. All right, 11.45 remaining in this third period. Mustangs with possession. Oh, shot from the point. Oh, saw it all the way, though. But nice save by Metcalf there on that one-timer. That Christensen on that right-hand yep. side? Well, good Glinky. Puck came around nicely. Iverson, uh, Weber, Weber, excuse me, the Glinky. One of the things when you're taking those one times, you're, you're backing you're up back a little up, bit. Right. And sometimes you back yourself into a maybe almost a worse position yeah. than you initially were. I'd rather be moving forward, but that's a tough thing to do. Well, it's tough to do it when you're standing <laughs> yeah. flat-footed. That's 100% right. sure. Mustangs win the draw again. Shot from the point. Iverson, East Jaws. C and I single on that one. <laughs> Just over the blocker, we'll if I'm not see mistaken, if that's though. Tipped here or not. All right, here we go. Shot. Oh, I think he just, maybe. I think he just beat him clean there. And Ian Iverson he reacting like a 50 goal scorer. Uh -huh. there. Not was a lot of a, celebration out of him. Was that Hassler? I, a, I think it was his. It's a huge goal for the Mustangs, as you just said, that uh, right before the power play. I mean, this is really going to set this third period up nicely here. So for Cheyenne, we talked about special teams as one of our keys to the game here, and that's going to be 
their second power play goal of the game. That's also Ian Iverson's second power play yes. goal of the game. So, so are we two for four tonight on the power play? Yeah, two for four. Two for five? Two for uh, Wimkin had a penalty in the first, or Wimkin that we yep. Wimkin. did not convert on. And Was that our third? We're two for three? Oh, boy. The five minute we converted on. Okay. Oh, we had two Eagles converging on our player there. Yeah, it looks like going back to the power play here again. Yeah. Yeah. Correct, or is Johnson going? Oh, Johnson's oh, going Oh, retaliation. I couldn't tell if that was Johnson that got hit. Took a little offense at that. All right. Not ideal. And then no penalty is, but I mean, let's see. Yeah, if especially after you yeah. just take a. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was Cooper Klaus that was on the ground there, though. So I'm not sure. I was, I was yeah, I not doing a great trying job to look at the replay. Yeah. I was looking at the power play statistics that you were asking me about. And then All right. I looked up, saw Klaus on the ace, and. So one of our players of the game, Mr. Iverson, taking the draw here. Going to be rewarded with some quality time. Trying to kill this penalty. 11 minutes exactly remaining in this third period. 3 nothing Work. Nice move, but it was fell on the play and couldn't get good wood on that, trying to get it over to a, a teammate. There's, there he is again. Got a nose for the net and the puck. Oh, just wide on that Nice move. Iverson had uh, Metcalf going the other way. Here we go. 10.33 remaining. That puck's got to get out. Oh, not quite. All right, Eagles shot wide on that one. Below the goal, going to reverse it. No, no one there for only one there. As the Mustangs, oh, work. Sealing up the a wall, though. Looking to advance this, trying to get this into good scoring position. Back to the point, back to work, shot. Heavy shot, does not get through though. Mustang, oh no, Iverson could not clear it. Oh, big shot, wide though. Eagles generating some offense here in this shot one timer, way wide on that one. Looking to the heavens above after that one. Shot, gonna try again. Also, way wide on that attempt there. I'm gonna try for the third time here. No, we're gonna pass it across. Work could not get full wood on that one. Almost like they had rubber sticks yeah. out there. Oh, shot to time. the head there. Not <laughs> took exception. That was Mason Christensen, a little uh, extracurricular though. I'm not sure how that uh, transpired, but got to let me say got away with on there. All right, nine, 18 remaining, 15 seconds remaining on the power play for the Eagles. Three, nothing. Oh. All right, that is. Can't quite tell who's Caden again. Almaris. Caden Almaris on that one. I think it was Caden Almaris on the one-timer and then on a, on a second one-timer. Nah, Put first, them both the wide, whoa. First one for sure, I think the second yeah. one was actually their ends. Was it? Yeah, if, you're yeah, if you're Cheyenne right here, you're up three nothing with 8.56. Get away. So, yeah, stay out of this stuff as, as much as you possibly yeah. can. You don't, you don't want to take an unnecessary penalty or you don't want to put yourself in a position where exactly. you're not playing for two minutes, especially if you're one of the you know, top players on either team. You don't want to you know, take yourself out of the game on something that you can control. Right, right. You got both the captains chatting at the at the dot here and onto what they're saying to one another. Luke Lorenz and Cooper Klaus exchanging. Well, it looked to be pleasant. I'll say, it looked, yeah, it, it looked, looked friendly. Co looked cordial. Yeah. It doesn't look like there was any ill will or hard feelings there. Oh, nice stick by the Eagles there, keeping that one in. All right, Eagles going to try this again. The speed whack, trying to put on the brakes. Nice little move. Got good speed on that right hand side. Two Mustangs there. There a lot of room on this right hand side. That was Gunnar Endres looking to turn the corner, but. Good job by the Eagles. All right, 8.28 remaining in the third period. Eagles gonna dump this in, hopefully be the first one on it, but nope, Mustangs are there. That was Estebo getting tugged on, not able to get it away. Shot deflected, high over the net. Oh, wide what open in what front. What a save though by Berm. Wow. Hopefully we can catch that on a replay here. Davies goes from behind the net to right out in front. And Berm is Drew Albrecht, the right? Way. Yeah, Drew Albrecht finds himself yeah, alone. Nice, really nice save there by by Berm for the Mustangs. And I don't know if he saw it, but it was just positional. Yeah. 
I think maybe he saw it right maybe place in the last and, second yeah. and looked over. And right place, right time. Yeah, if you're, Good job. If you're sound positionally as yes. a goaltender, sometimes the puck just finds yes. you or hits you, and you frustrate other teams, but you do that because you are playing in the correct position. All right, Trace Meyer taking the draw for the Mustangs. So it was top line for Davies again. They were yeah. just out here what it seemed like maybe Drew 25, Albrecht. 30 seconds ago. Yeah, taking the draw for the Oh, Mustangs just able to angle that one out. Nice job. And then chase that puck down. Good forecheck by the Mustangs. Hops over the stick, though. Oh, good job of recovering there. Christensen up ahead. Oh. Iverson oh, scores! Yes! Oh, the lightning release. Is he feeling it tonight? Was what that Iverson again? What I it is. For Ian Iverson. Oh. He's, he's been all over the <laughs> ice tonight, and he has been rewarded for his efforts. I thought uh, Metcalf might have been screened. It was just a well placed shot to that far post, just off the ice. 4 0. All three of his goals tonight, have he's not lucked into any of them. It's not as if a puck has gone off his skate. They've all been three wrist shots where he's just flat out beating Metcalf. Okay, so, I mean, what a game for Ian Iverson and the Mustangs tonight. But uh, for an individual effort, uh, wow, has he really come through tonight for Cheyenne. He got elevated uh, up in the lineup, and, you know, kind of balancing their lines a little bit. Yeah. So he's playing with two new line mates tonight. And uh, something really lit a fire under him because, yeah, absolutely. And I remember it wasn't that long ago where you were saying, where is Iverson? No, it was at the North game. And we couldn't tell if he was under the weather or we just. Yeah, and he was. A, he was there, but, it, you know, not noticeable. As a sophomore last year, no. I thought, you know, he got some time up on varsity, started on, on JV, I believe, and then kind of came around as the second half of the season came along. And I thought he was, you know, someone that was poised to have a big year this year. And certainly tonight he's, uh, you know, having a – Tremendous game for the Mustangs. All right, I'm going to challenge your memory. Have Penalty we been there? Have we been witness to a Mustang hat trick in our three yes, years? We have. Yep, and I'm going to tell you who it is. All right, I love in that. Just one second here. Who's going to go to the box? Appreciate I believe it. that's going to be work. I'm going to actually test your knowledge. Back to back. It was a hat trick on a Friday night. Yep. On a goal that was from about 198 feet away. So I'm going to go f our former captain. No. Which who? I mean, <laughs> I'm going last year's. Two years ago. Well, it was two years, it was ago? Two years ago. I know that. Oh. Uh, it was against the Spartans. It was against North. Zach Moser. Oh, them, yeah. I believe okay. it. His third goal, I believe, was shot all the way down from the goal line very late in the game. Yeah, when you said game, that, so nice I, was, I, was go, yeah, I was going defense. He picked a D to D pass off and went yeah. all the way down, had a breakaway. He logged some major yeah. time. What, where's he playing now? Do we know? I think he's going to school at. Uh, up in Grand Forks at UND. Oh, all right. All right, 6.28 remaining. But now the next time we see one, you're going to yeah. ask, have we ever seen one before? <laughs> and it's going to be Mr. Iverson. Yes, the newest. Yes. Welcome. Yeah. No, I I wish a hat would have come on the ice. It's tough here with fun. the right around, All right, Cooper closer. Claus coming in on this right side. La puts on the brakes. Puck at other men. Had other, other thoughts, though. All right, 5.58 remaining. 58 seconds remaining on the power play. Shot from the point, blocked. That was Glinky trying to get that one through. Didn't, oh, a wide open on that right-hand side. Oh, cannot get it. Is that Iverson again? No, it's Meyer behind the net. Oh He's trying to get it goodness. out to close. Okay. I saw what looked to be a zero, but that was an eight. All right, pass back to the point. That's Glinky. Cannot get it in. That is deflected up over top the net with 34 seconds remaining on this power play. So roughly it's going to be five minutes, four goals. That is a tough, tough task. Yeah, it is. And if you're shine, you want to make it as difficult as you possibly, possibly, right. possibly can. And that's obviously an, an obvious statement there. But you can do that by the way that you manage the game right. and making sure that you're getting pucks out and then you're getting pucks in. So are you going to go with the guys that got you there, even though they may be a little more tired, when you know you've got a few fresh bodies with fresh legs out there? What's your what's your rationale now? What's your what's your thought? I think you reward the guys that got you here that today. Got you there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a tough one. I think uh, 
I feel the same way. Mr. Iverson is out there again. Shot from the point. Oh, does not get through Metcalf. Nice job on that one. All right, eight seconds remaining on this power play. Glinky coming in on his left hand side. He's going to get that puck down. And uh, I believe you should be thinking just get the puck in deep and create havoc down there. Oh, we're going that's with icing on this one, yes. And that's going to be nice on Davies there. So you got about four, well, not about, you have 444 left in the third period mm -hmm. here. You know, if you can, try to make Davies travel up the whole way of the ice to try to create anything offensively. Yes. Yeah. Two guys on the puck. Two guys back. And going with it. I don't even know if you need two guys. I don't know. I think yeah. maybe. We go, we're going one. Maybe go one and then have. One, one, three. Yeah. All right. Mustangs with control of this puck. 4.30 and change remaining. Back to the point. Just going to play keep away right now. Oh, <laughs> wide open. Grab that wow. Puck. Grab that puck. That's Dylan Johnson. He's a senior. That's his first career goal. I wanted that for him earlier in the second oh. period when he had a play right around that net. Was Except that behind the back? It was from Cooper Klaus, I oh, believe. Oh, that right was a sweet front. dish. Very, very happy for him. He's done a lot of different. He's played some forward. He's played some defense. It just hasn't happened for him. Oh, you know, we got some. Yeah, I wonder if that's family yeah. cheer. And they're on their feet. That's nice. Yeah. Dylan is a good athlete. Yes. He's recognized for his accolades as a running back this yep. fall uh, at Horace High School. You know, very, very happy anytime you see someone get their first career goal and you see his teammates there are giving him a lot of love on the bench. So, wow. Very happy. And Great setup. Didn't dust it off. Just oh. Boom, back of the net. And that's going to make, uh, you talk about a 4 nothing hill. That hill <laughs> just got even steeper for Fargo Davies. Yes. This would be a collapse of epic portion if somehow we squandered this 5 nothing lead with just over four minutes remaining. I do not want to jinx anyone the way we've been playing defensively. All right, Mustangs, foot still on the gas. That was Lashovsky coming in with speed on that right-hand yeah, side. Putting your foot on the gas. Lashovsky shows his wheels there yes. as he gets to the outside. One of the things that Charlie can do is he's got really quick feet. Another player that was recognized for his accolades this fall in the gridiron at uh, Horace High School as well. Lashovsky? Yes, cornerback, interceptions. Good hands, apparently. Wow. Oh, nice draw. Back blocked. Nice little turnaround there. Back to the point again, the Estebo. Puck does not get through. All right, Christensen. Back to Estebo. Estebo just trying to try and bank it off the boards. Hopefully Mustang Ford picks it up. All right. Desperation time for the Eagles here. All right. Boy, right here we go. It. Yep. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's pushing the net. Oh, I believe they're going to say the net's off. There yeah, is. that puck was in before, but yeah, it was. We got to see this again. We have Brock, Brock Berm trying to play a <laughs> peacekeeper yeah. out there by keeping everyone so away was, from one another. But yeah, yeah chance right around the net. And you're right. They're going to say, hey, that puck was in. It was the, their own man that pushed it in, but I think the push was initiated. I'm going to go with Seckerson. And I think too, I referee may have even lost where the puck right. was. So watch this. Traffic and commotion right in front. Here we this go. And the replay here. Good opportunity. And the ref's far off yeah. in the corner there, and I just don't think he just bad positioning. Ever really yeah, knew, knew where it was. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, de defensive zone coverage right there, not very strong yeah. by the Mustangs. You had Luke Lorenz is right in front of the net all by himself. Tough break for the Eagles on that one. Yes. I think, yeah, if the ref was in on the other side. Well, you been, want to leave the game with any yeah. sort of positive yeah. energy that you can, and unfortunately this lead by Cheyenne has gotten away from me a little bit, yeah. but if you can you know, maybe pop one in the last couple of minutes here, leave the, leave the rink with something that you can build off of. Mm -hmm. I don't know if maybe that's overstated or if that really even matters or not, but we got Albrecht against Klaus on this one. 3.15 remaining. Shot from the point. Whistled wide over top. All right. 
Glinky. Looking to get that out. Cannot, oh, we're just going. Has it got enough? It does. That's icing with 2.57 remaining. And I think they'll, they'll be content to do this all game yeah, long. Yeah, just see that clock wind down. Yeah. I think five to eight seconds at a time. Probably both teams would just, <laughs> if you could get it to run yeah. out if you could. I, they go, hey, let's angle this. You just tell me where you're going. I'm, I'll chase this down. <laughs> See if they do that. All right, no, nope. maybe that was the plan. Right there, it's that collapse on them. All oh, good save. Well, four seconds yeah. ticked off the clock. Yeah. There is Haskin and got the puck back at the point. Minus Stewart's the shot. shot on goal. Yeah, that's not kind of what you're doing. I don't know if they just uh, kind of said, "I'm going to get this forward. You guys get this puck." And well, since that on. end of that first period, Sean, we talked about Cheyenne. You know, needed to be better offensively. They they certainly have you know, discussions we're having in the locker room, or if it was just a, a matter of getting into the game a little bit but yeah they've in the second through period they've been much much stronger right and they've been aided by some power play opportunities as well I mean, you can't, and these are can't deny that <laughs> and these goals are skill related goals these are these are not uh, right oh trip, trip boy work is going to go again he's got the natural i believe the natural three in a row for uh Mr. Work, yeah look yeah. into the heavens ouch that is his third here in this third penalty excuse me in this third period. Yeah, yeah. That is not going to help his ice time. I'm sure Mr. Coach Metcalf is uh, not going to be happy with those. So for almost the rest of the game here, Cheyenne is going to be on the power play except for the final 28 seconds. We just talked about they've been aided by power yeah. plays. And yeah. Home bold, here they get another one. Yeah, and I mean, and I know that five this goal lead. To we talked earlier about specialty teams and down the stretch, you know, as we enter, you talk about the season being so fast. I understand it's 5 nothing, and there's two minutes left in the game, but you look out here and still it's a power play unit that you would see in the first period. So these are things that you're going to want to be sharp on regardless of the uh, situation of the All game. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think I, he was, was going to pass was, that or not? I was worried <laughs> about the pass from the, the Eagles. It was like, where are you going with that? And uh, sure enough, there he is. The player of the game, Mr. Iverson. Smelling blood. All right, 141 remaining in this game that the Cheyenne Mustangs have blown open in this third. Five nothing. Oh, almost kept in there at the at the point. Mustangs in no hurry here. 53 seconds remaining in the power play. Mustangs can. Make the safe play, hopefully. And they do. Cooper Klaus on this left-hand side. Puts on the brakes at the blue line. Dumps it in. Thought is a... Heads up. Yeah. I'm coming right behind <laughs> him there. <laughs> 54 seconds. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. And I'm sure there's a little... A uh, little bit of anger in that in, in that hit. Getting down 5 nothing here tonight. Probably not going to let up too, so well, you worry about. Fortunately, there was no. I mean, really, yes. nothing, nothing yeah. there. Wasn't more of a heads up. You're about to get you know, blown up. It was more of you, know, you better get that shot off quick. He was up against the boards. That's a different yes. story. All right, yeah. All right, 25 seconds remaining in this third period. Mustangs looking to pitch the shutout. Mashovsky on the right-hand side. Oh, we had Metcalf looking behind him. I don't know how that, if that made it to the net or not. It's a moot point at this point. Only thing remaining is can Mr. Brock Burham get that shot out? And yes, he can. Well-earned victory for the Cheyenne Mustangs tonight, Mr. Latovsky. I was kind of wondering what we were going to get a little bit, Sean, after A little that. worried, a little Dis scared? Well, not scared, but disappointed. Or that disappointing loss they right. had to West Fargo with that, you know, tying Less the game. Than a second, and then, yeah. And then, and then going to, you go, and <laughs> the way you get to bounce back from yep. it is go to Grand Forks and play Red River, right? The number one team in the EDC. And, <laughs> yes. And uh, I was kind of, you know, not worried, but just wondering, more curious about yes. what Cheyenne team would come out tonight. After the first, however, 
If you asked me if I was a little nervous, I maybe would have said, yeah. I didn't think the first period Cheyenne was overly strong, especially offensively. I didn't really think they, you know, they did a lot of things that they could hang their hat on, but they come back out in the second and third, uh, and they do a lot of nice offensive uh, things, um, obviously aided by the three yeah. goals by uh, Ian Iverson, and then you also had a Cooper Klaus that got a goal tonight, and then the last one by Dylan Johnson. So, yeah, n nice win for Cheyenne. I thought that they played within themselves. In terms of penalties, they took the first one of the game. That was Dylan Johnson. Mason Christensen had one. But other than that, uh, the team that was filling the stat sheet in terms of penalties was the Harvard Look at AVC you with Eagles. your keys to the game. You, you nailed it's it. almost as if we wrote them after yeah. the game. Mission. Yeah, so in terms of. Well done. Well done. You, know, you did. You look at, you know, in the first you had Trace Meyer, Bennett Benson, uh, and Wyndham. They both went for. Right. Or they all went for roughing there. Throw Blake Wimpkin in there. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, he went for hooking. But, you know, other than that, it was. Let's see here. You had Wyndham checking from behind. You, know, you had work interference, work holding, work tripping. Um, you know, so maybe it wasn't as lopsided as I, I maybe thought it was. Maybe it just felt just like Just at the end it felt like, yeah. yeah. It, it kind of did. So maybe looking at it there a little bit uh, corrected. But, you know, Sean, I think tonight is is obviously it's, it's a huge win to get three wins in the EDC. We talked about, you know, if a team got you the first time, you're going to have to get them the second time. You're going to want to get sweeps of teams that you beat earlier. Standings outside of those top two teams with, you know, Red River and Central, it kind of seems like everybody else is kind of jostling for right. their position there. But I think tonight, it's a night to remember. Brock Berm gets his first shutout. He got his first win earlier this year against International Falls. Uh, but I think you can recognize that the Fargo Davies is a much stronger opponent than International Falls mm -hmm. was. You know, right. Cheyenne beat him 11 to 2 outside uh, at the lights. So really happy for Brock to, you know, You'll always remember your first win, but you always, you know, your first shutout in front of your home fans, and and uh, you, know, you got into the game. You know, the starting goalie was was ill, so you fill in. And, and I wonder if you, you question it's like, am I going to get back in there? I you mean, know, that's, that's uh, you're not taking anything away from from Mr. Beater. Yeah, and look at his teammates right there. It's nice to see yeah. how, how happy they are, well, are for yeah. him. And, and that's nice. You got a good team when other people recognize other people's yeah. uh, successes. So you have the shutout by Berm and the victory by Berm. You have the hat trick for Ian Iverson, mm -hmm. you know, that we've talked about. And I, and I mentioned it, you know, earlier. He didn't luck into any three of those goals. I mean, those, no. they flat out just beat Metcalf. I mean, all three wrist shots. You know, the first one we talked about, he didn't dust it off, just got the puck right on his stick and just you know, put it top shelf. The second one, again, you know, beats him. I believe that one was on the power play. Um, yeah, it was. So he got two power play goals, and then the third one uh, is even strength. And then to cap it off, so I, mean, I guess we're kind of going three stars with it here. The first career goal for Dylan Johnson we talked about as, Ooh, as a senior. Yeah. You know, you talked about you might wonder, am I ever going to hit back in the net? You might also wonder, is it ever going to happen? Am I ever going to get that that first goal? And am I going to get that monkey off my back? And then now if you're Dylan, you're going to want to create a goal scoring streak. So you got another game coming up here pretty soon. You know, one's a fluke, two's a streak, right? So you're going to want to get back on that score sheet as Who, soon as you can. Who are you going with? Number okay. one star. Who are we I, going? You, you know, I... The, the, the shutout or I, the I, Hattie? It's, it's tough to say, but I, I think the shutout, shutout for Berm, um, it's nothing nothing to take away at all from Ian Iverson because mm -hmm. he played, you know, fantastic tonight. But, you know, for Brock Berm to step in kind of the day of, you know, Jaden Beater ends up uh, sick and can't go tonight, and so you know, sometimes goalies are, are unique individuals, and they have you know certain yeah, things. Yeah, you've that got they, rituals. What yeah, you're rituals, eating. and and you know, do I take a nap? Do I eat at this time? Whatever. Yeah. And sometimes when you get out of that, you can get thrown off a little bit. So, um, like I said, nothing to take away from Ian Iverson at all, because you know he really put Cheyenne uh, on his his back tonight. What are we missing here, Sean? I. The number one uh, sports team name. You want to go with that? We can. We can do one more. What, you got something else for me? Well, I was going to say we're missing our next action. That's going to oh, be let's hear here it. at home. Yep. Friday, January 19th against. Next week. The Fargo South Chamois Bruins, the defending oh. state champions who just defeated the Fargo Davies Eagles on Tuesday in a shootout at Shields yeah, Arena. All right. So, and if you look at the standings there, I believe I'll pull those back up here. I believe they were at. 13 points so you know, we've got some teams that are all kind of in the thick of it here now with uh, 
Fargo Davies, West Fargo Cheyenne. Yeah. Yeah, Bob, Bob Gillen, excuse me, has already updated his site, so he's already got Devil's Lake in sixth. Yeah. Uh, and so Cheyenne is going to jump them. So it's short-lived if you're Devil's Lake. Yeah. You, you got in sixth for a little while, so <laughs> Cheyenne is going to jump up to uh, sixth place in the EDC. So they'll yeah, sit eighth just against one point. Eight, one, you don't want that. And they'll sit one point behind Fargo South Shanley. I'm sure Shanley probably has maybe a game or South Shanley before that time. I'm not yeah. sure or not, but. You look there. I mean, that's going to be just like today. I mean, they did get a win over them earlier this yep. year, so if they could come away with the sweep, that'd be awfully yep. huge. Right. Uh, for we're going to do number work. one because it All is right. hockey related. Okay. Uh, we're going to say that its name is fresh. It's fitting. It's fun. What, uh, what country? United States? or United uh, States. It's uh, all, yeah. We're going the U.S. of A, my friend. I am going it's with. It's hockey. It's got to be the newest team in the NHL. <laughs> yes, sir. All the right. Seattle Kraken. Just played outdoors. Oh, yeah. love it. Hey, Cracker Jack staff tonight fought the elements off. Kudos to the Mustang Media crew tonight. Yes. Showing are. up. Our camera and delivering. producers are. I saw them shivering <laughs> out there a little bit. We're in the comforts of behind the glass and the heated, so. I will say this, and it's not to, not to puff our chest or anything, but yeah. fans, I really hope you do enjoy those replays. I watch a lot of broadcasts throughout the winter, and it's hard to find replays like uh, our students from Cheyenne Mustang Media do. So ho hope that you appreciate the content that they deliver. And as I said earlier, you don't just have to watch hockey games. You can watch basketball, wrestling, uh, music, drama, knowledge bowl. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. We broadcast it last year, so I'm not <laughs> yeah, sure. So. That's right. Anyways, it is a school night. It was a long day. As you oh, see there, we did yeah. the Feed My Starving Children. My body's feeling it. Mr. Knodel, body's body is feeling it. Mr. Mm -hmm. Salmon's body is feeling it. The young kids, they're resilient. They'll bounce yeah. back, but we got one day in the semester, so we, we got to get home. Look at all that yeah. work we did there. Well, we're you know, close to 2,000 kids kids being fed and what, thousands of What a day. So, yes, very exciting day in the world it's of It's a pyramid Cheyenne. of positivity, and Absolutely. boom, yeah. finish it off with a nice win. All, all right. right. So, Cheyenne's going to get the win tonight uh, on the backs of a Ian Iverson hat trick and a Brock Berm Shout out other goals scored by Cooper Klaus and then the first career goal by Dylan Johnson. So big win for the Mustangs tonight for Jordan Latovsky. Peace. I am Sean Burke. All right. Good night. Thanks.